All right, we're back again with, oh my God, Mystery Dungeon Tornico. Imagine that, imagine me playing that. Uh, yeah, this is Mystery Dungeon. Hopefully I'll beat it today, we'll see, I hope. Hopefully I have a good run. Hopefully, hopefully. Let's get it started. There he is, our faithful hero, Tornico. We have no items, so we gotta get some items from our wife here. What do we want? We want a metal babble. And I want, of course, a belly ring. And I want a shield. Let's see if I have a shield. Um, scale shield. And uh, I'm gonna grab an outside. If I have one, I have three. Sounds good to me. Keep yourself safe, dear. He he he. All right, here we go. Into the dungeon just to make sure. Yep, that's all the stuff I want. All right, and we're gonna go in. What's going on, guys? The chat is wandering in once again. 1973. You got the, you got the new animation. Thanks to uh, Shishi for those. Ninja Warlord 1420, uh, thank you very much for the sub. And Skagway, and Skywalker, and Stroopzilla, and Twisted 350. I am a god, says Skywalker. Is that is that me from on my last stream of this? So my last stream of this, I was like kicking ass. I was like, I'm a god, I am a fucking god, or something like that, and then I died, <laughs> and I, I deserved it. Thank you, Ricky, uh, Ricky Rick 23 for the sub. A lot of subs coming in, thank you guys. You were just watching my King's Night stream? God, why? <laughs> Here, wait, I gotta get my sword on. Fuck you. Get all my items on, belly ring. Oh, he starts out cursed, right? Uh, scale, shield. I'm gonna drop this bread. All right, it's a good start. Stylo19 subbed. And Ultra Laser, the Ultra Laser. Sharks with freaking laser beams attached to their heads. Yes, I gotta have every stream have Austin Powers references because it's eternally 1997 here. Eternally. Eternally yours, Dr. Evil, okay? I, I, I think I need a Dr. Evil emote one of these days. Someday. Belly rings, cock rings, and ball sacks, says Analog1975. That's right. Welcome to the stream. I pay good money for you to read my resub comment. Yes? Do, do you? Did I not read it? Wait. What was it? Twisted. A, it's twisted 350 and been a year. You've been putting up with me for a whole year. There you go, I read it. And Lightning Bolt X Bolt, thank you very much for the sub as well. He, he wanted me to read that. Thank, thank you, Lightning X Bolt. You recently modded Game Boy Advance SP to have a better screen. You've been playing Warland One on it. Says Dreamcast aesthetic, but that's cool. You got a backlight, a backlit monitor on it, a backlit screen, I should say. He said backlit monitor. He doesn't know what he's talking about. Because if you're on the internet, you can't. You can't speak wrong, or you can't say something wrong, or else, yeah, God forbid. Fucking God forbid you say anything wrong. All right, we got the upper. Let's use that. All right, upper increases the strength of my shield. So right now, Metal Babble 8 skill, shield 6, and I'm trying to Level up my guy, get a little stronger. Once again, I have a belly ring, so don't worry about it. I don't have to worry about food or anything like that. 
and on we go on to the next floor descending bauer fan 212 thank you very much for the sub uh is this game any good well this is like my fourth or fifth stream of this um i like it a lot um these type of games are probably not for every are probably not for everybody but i enjoy them so that's sort of a subjective question i guess is it good i don't know it's good for me and since this is my stream this is mike Matei live that's that's the answer <laughs> but might not be good for everybody and this guy looks like a piece of shit doesn't he, he looks like a turd That usually happens. No matter what I stream, it seems to be. There's people that like it. There's people that don't like it, you know? Not just this game. I mean, I mean any, any game I'm playing. It's just how it goes. Not every game is for everybody. And 88 Corn Hub subbed. I'm ready to end Tornico's kink shop. Cracks the whip, yeah. Tits McFancy meal, what's up tits? My, do you mind if I call you tits? <laughs> tits for short. Or do I have to actually say tits McFancy meal? We should talk about the McFancy meal part of it. Is that supposed to be like a McFancy meal? Is that supposed to be like a happy meal? What does that part of it mean? The tits part I got down. I love the old, um, the old hat, the like uh, Mario happy meal stuff. From back in the day. That's really my, my thing about all that, is I love the n nostalgia and the McDonald Land characters. More so than the food itself. Upper. Alright, that increases my strength of my shield. Oh, I hit a trap, but it didn't hurt me. Alright, fell asleep. Two traps in a row. All right, we got strength. I'll use that in a second, as long as they haven't poisoned me or anything. No, my strength is good, so I'm going to use that. And we got plating, which the plating is like, you can just get rid of it. Big floppy Luigi sub, thank you very much. Hopefully, JSB fan, thanks for those bits. Mix shits. You're playing this garbage game, you should play something I like, right? Exactly. I should do what you want me to do, right? Uh, I, I think I remember that uh, Tits McFancy meal. Did you answer about the, the McFancy meal part? I think I missed it if you answered. He says, hey, you guy. Oh, that's supposed to be a sloth. And thank you, Rob's uh, something. R Rob BS <laughs> for the sub. Sammy Sheehole says, I only like McDonald's for the McChicken. The burgers are bottom of the barrel. I mean, it's shit food, you know. <laughs> Sorry, I guess there goes any brand deal I was ever gonna get. <laughs> Um, yeah, I mean, it's, it, it's fucking, I mean, everybody knows it, though. it's fucking garbage, you know, it's, and it's bad for you. It's more like, I, I like the, the, you know, the character, the characters and whatever, and because it's dead, it's like, it's like how I love, you know, old Epcot shit, it's like, oh, Horizons from Epcot, it's like, I love that it's gone now, and it makes you love it more when it's gone, like old arcades, actually, there's, there's the best example, going to arcades, it's like, 
you can't really do that that much anymore. You know, they used to, it used to be in every mall in America. You can go to an arcade. But the McDonald, they got rid of the McDonald Land characters and all that, and uh, and I, I liked the what it, you know, what it once was. It was like more fun. Now it's just like this. Day. The buildings are literally like just gray boxes now. It's like totally. I guess it's representative of the era that we live in now. It's just dead and soulless. <laughs> you know, it's like not fun at all anymore. Everybody else is fucking garbage. <laughs> I mean, it is. It's terrible. And Disneyland had big arcades, so yeah. There are the, um, what was it called? Um, Starcade. That's the mystery dungeon games that get super boring at Endgame. Um, you mean because I'm more powerful now? Because I have more a more powerful sword and shield, so it's not... I mean, at this point, that maybe the early dungeon, I, I can, I can agree, agree with that. But once I get to the later parts of the dungeons, it's gonna start getting intense again. But sure. You know, having a, you know, Metal Babel 8 and Scale Shield 7 and Belly Ring and stuff at this point. It's like, yeah, the early parts of the dungeon are, are definitely a lot easier at this point. But once I get to floor 20, you know, it'll start getting a little bit more spicy again. So, yeah, I don't disagree with you completely. I gotta get, I gotta get down to those, um lower floors and thank you rockman31 for the sub good luck killing this one off i'm trying to i, I really want to move on but i like i really want to beat this you know so i'm trying to end this fucking game so we can move on to other stuff i, I love this fucking game and i like playing it but it's like we gotta move on yeah Hopefully I can beat this quickly and we can move on to something else today. We'll see what happens. Probably probably won't happen. I mean, here's the thing. This is a hard game, so, especially when you get down to those lower levels. So we'll see how it goes. All right, I'm glad he didn't put me to sleep. And the other thing is I can't just rush to the exits because I need to power him up because I'm only level five right now I need to like I need to be stronger blinding uncurse I can uncurse that ring one more time let's do this I, I hope so I hope so guys I'm trying to make this and and if you are one of the people that's sick to fucking death of me seeing me play this all I can tell you is I'm, I'm really trying. I'm trying to beat this. I'm trying to get it done so we can go to the next game. But you have to understand that I put a lot of hours into this now, and I wanna, I wanna fucking finish it. Like you mean like an NES game, Skywalker? What do you mean? Yes, Josh Billy. They're, uh, they're in there. Get this guy. Fill as many as I can. And the gold like doesn't matter anymore. So if you see me passing up the gold, don't worry about it. It's like that's pretty much done. Unless I do those 99 levels, then it might come into play again. I don't know. Skywalker Ranch said, This game is great to watch. It's similar to watching Zelda Randomizer. You know, sometimes I stream a game and then Let's say I don't finish it. Then I come back the next day and I'm playing something else and then nobody fucking says anything. That's telling to me that nobody fucking cares about a game. 
you know, if they're glad that I moved on. But this game, when when I've moved on to other games in the meantime, people are like, come back to it, come back to it, come back to it. I, I've gotten a lot of that with this game, and it's interesting to me. So I have a question for you guys. What do you think it is about this game? And of course, maybe this isn't for everybody, but what is it about this game that, um, I didn't mean to eat that. Um, what is it about this game that uh, you like watching? Is it like the mystery of the unknown? Would none of us know what's gonna happen? The randomness? The strategy involved? Perhaps. What do you think it is? Because if you like these type of games, um, there's other games like this. Like the Pokemon Mystery Dungeon games or the Final Fantasy ones. Because it's a little bit of everything. Because the fat man. Thank you, Twith, for the sub. Waluigi's pointy feet says, I like watching you lose everything when you die. <laughs> By the way, that's a great username. Do I plan on doing Zelda 2 Randomizer again at some point? Uh, prob at some point, I'm sure. I mean, I haven't really thought about it lately, but... I mean, yeah, probably. I love the Zelda 2 shit. I'll always end up coming back to those kind of games. Zelda 2, Ninja Gaiden, you know, all that, all that kind of shit. Castlevania. Just, you know, I'll always come back to that in some way or another. That's nice. Now I'm just trying to get my, get some experience. Bastard, like I'd like to be able to kill him in one hit. Sending. Can we give pro tips? Sure. You can, I don't care. Whatever you want. Whether or not, if you tell me them, whether or not I apply them is another story. Some people have given me tips as I've gone through this, and then I just like straight up forget. I'm like, whoa, what did you say? Huh? Huh? What's going on? I don't know where I am. It's about how it goes. But I know about taking the medicals and elixirs and stuff. Do I have any elixirs right now, actually? I do not. I do not. But you know, if you eat the elixirs, drink them, whatever, and get two more hit points. As long as you're not weirdo Tom. Yeah, I'll take advice from any of you guys. As long as as long as you're not weirdo Tom. <laughs> Poor guy. He he was trying to give me like his advice was actually like totally fine. I'm just like shitting all over him still. It's like been weeks. <laughs> I went on vacation. I went on vacation to fucking Disney World for like a week. 
come back from vacation, do several streams. It's like three weeks ago. I'm still like, remember that fucking weirdo Tom? Fucking guy, remember that one time? <laughs> and never let it go. It's like 30 years later. He's like, hey, you know, you know, Mike, uh, I've moved on. I have a wife and kids now. Um, don't really, don't really care about any of this anymore. You don't have to be mentioning this anymore, Mike. Yeah, but that one time you fucked me up in the game, though. You remember that, though? Weirdo Tom. Just goes on and on. Alright, so I want these wands. Let's get rid of the muddle. Do I have an identify? I do. Identify the copper rod. It's a slow. Those are good. Those are good. Uh, that's about it, right? Fuck him up. Get out of here. Tell us some other stuff about your Disney trip. Uh, I mean, I don't know. Uh, I don't remember what I said before. I, let's see, I went to, let's see, I went to, what did I do the first day? I went to Magic Kingdom the first day. And then I did like, Magic Kingdom's really big. So you could probably do all of it in one day. Like if you murdered yourself. But it's like a lot of walking and shit, and um, it's just a huge park. And you gotta stand, like, you know, you gotta be in like the lines and shit. Um, so I like to divide the Magic Kingdom up into multiple days. So it's at least two days of Magic Kingdom. But then I don't wanna do like Magic Kingdom, Magic Kingdom, so I like spread it out. So I do like Magic Kingdom break day, just go to like the pool or whatever, don't go to any parks. And then like the next day, I do something else. Then we did uh, Hollywood Studios. Went on that new Mickey Mouse ride and the uh, whatever, all that shit. Did all that shit. <laughs> and then, uh, you know, like take a break again. It's like break day, park day, that kind of thing. Um, went on the Ratatouille ride, which is the new one in Epcot. Epcot's like fucked right now. It's like all walls and shit because they're like building. But uh, the Ratatouille ride is not bad. I didn't, I didn't mind it. I've never seen the movie. Um, but I thought the ride was alright. Um, what else? Uh, I went to Animal Kingdom which I hadn't been there in quite a while. And saw tigers and whatever, like every animal. <laughs> uh, here, I gotta get rid of something that's garbage. I'll just use this, actually. Saw a rhino's ass. Took a picture of it. <laughs> saw saw a gorilla. Saw a bunch of they, I, they saw a lot of giraffe. They had a lot of giraffe. I took a picture of myself with the giraffes. Giraffes are fucking crazy. I want to get a giraffe for these streams. Just have a giraffe like behind me, like a real, like a real giraffe. He's like walking around behind me. That's why you guys gotta sub more. You sub more, donate more. Eventually, you're gonna knock this wall down, and we're just gonna have a field behind me. And we're just gonna have like fucking animals. We're gonna have like ostriches and shit going by. It's gonna be great. Oh my god, it's another outside, wow. Huh. I don't know if 
I need that many, but I'll hold on to it for the moment. That would be good to bring back with me. Is the box, if I don't care about the box. I might just drop that other outside, we'll see. Cause I don't really need that many. And I already, you know what, I already have like several back there. I'm gonna actually drop one since I have. I fucking die. Um, I have two, two is enough. I'll use, one, I'll use one and then I'll have another to save, you know, so. I don't ever need more than that, I don't think. Uh, oh, a scale shield? Shit, those are pretty good shields. That'd be nice to bring one of those back. That's actually the shield I have right now. I'd like to have another one in case I end up losing this somehow. Fucker. Who's coming now? This guy. Bastard. Running from me. Mummy. And these guys. See, my shield's plated. So I'm not worried about them. Descending. I'm carrying moldy bread. Am I? Oh my god, thank you. I wasn't even paying attention. Thank you very much, Baylokeet. Appreciate that. I like the like 85 exclamation points too. Moldy bread, Mike, you're carrying it! Thank you. <laughs> the uncurse, we can uncurse the belly ring. Oh, is it not? Did I already do that? Maybe I did. Still can't get that guy in one hit. Blinding, here, let's blind him. Fuck you. Eavesdrop. Boom, boom. Gold that I don't care about. I want to be able to kill them in one hit. What was that bread? That's the bread I dropped. There's the exit. Just looking around. The most valuable thing are, are the enemies. Get the fucking experience out of their ass. Let's go see what the, this dude is over here. It's this guy. Oh yeah, fuck you. Bastards. Alright, and who's the guy at the bottom? Come on. Dead end. Come on. Wait, there's another way to go over here. Oh, here comes a knight. Good, all right, time to get out of here now. All right, level 11. Maybe now I can kill the derangers in one hit. Fucking gas. Fucking gas. Me, me, me. There he is, let's see. Oh, still not. Damn it. Damn you. Thank you, hair pull, for the sub. Scrawny. Clown Snatch 3 says, my pussy ain't right. Thank you for letting us know, Scrawny Clown Snatch. Is that because it's a little bit too uh, scrawny? And you probably put a little bit too much of that clown makeup down there. Does your Snatch look like the Joker? Is 
Is that the problem? Or is it a different type of, is it more like a bozo snatch? We need to know the difference. If it's bozo snatch or joker snatch. Two totally different things, you know. Is it bozo snatch, Kipton? Checkoff just came out for some reason. <laughs> Here comes Checkoff. Checkoff apparently likes that bozo snatch. I like the bozo snatch, Captain. I will jerk off to bozo snatch, Captain. <laughs> Lost episode of Star Trek. The original series. I don't want that cloning thing. I want the repel. Boom, boom. The episode where Chekhov jerks off to, <laughs> to pose a snatch. All right, we're getting to the exit here. This is where I bring it back on topic to the game. People in the comments are like, well, I, I wanted to see this stream Mystery Dungeon, but he kept talking about Clown Snatch, so I had to turn it off. Eh, oh well. <laughs> see you later! Bye! <laughs> Henge the Great, thank you very much for the sub. <laughs> Has 2022 started good for you? Um, it's wonderful. <laughs> I love it. Nuclear vessels? Voyager was the best. Jack Nicholson, Heath Ledger can't even stand in your shadow when it comes to playing the Joker. Well, you know why? I'm actually am the only licensed uh, DC, the only official licensed DC actor to play the Joker. Actually, believe it or not, don't believe don't believe what you hear. It's all it's all me. I've done a Twilight Princess stream. I have not, um, but I should someday. For sure. I'd li I would like to play through that again. That'd be cool. Um, I don't need that many gnomes. I'm gonna grab the cherry instead. And do I have an identify? Of course I don't. Of course you don't! At least I have one repel. That'll help me for the monster lairs. Otherwise known as the gangbang rooms. Gotta watch out for those. Uh, ba -ba -ba -bum. Blinding, eye drop, I don't really care. For the paint is clown and I have touched the snatch. Before <laughs> Skelly's rolling over is great. The, for the world is hollow and I have touched the sky. Yes, I get it. For the paint is snatch. Thanks, Yo Yo Dave. Link. Thanks, She She.
What do I think of the possibility of 007 GoldenEye coming to Xbox consoles? Um, I mean, it's about time that they did some kind of remaster or official like re-release of that, right? Seems pretty overdue. Um, is it is it a graphical remaster or is it literally like the N64? I haven't heard anything about it, honestly. I mean, like any of the, these uh, re-releases of games, as long as they don't fuck it up, I guess. You know. It's like the, you know, like the monkey ball thing, or it's like they take one of your favorite old games and then they, they add something to it that they think is a good idea, and you're like, no, I just wanted the game that it was, and they, they like ruin it somehow. Yeah, it's like disappointment. I find a lot of times just like just fucking play the original game, then you don't have to be disappointed, you know. How often is it that they actually remaster a game and it's better than the original? Maybe sometimes, but I feel like a lot of times they just fuck things up. I don't have any faith, really. What does the happiness box do? Well, let me tell you. <laughs> uh, you get it and you bring it back and we'll see. We'll see what the ending of the game is if I grab it. I don't care about muddle. This guy doesn't even know what the happiness box does. <laughs> Thank you, William DeFuck. For the gifting out subs to the community, he gifted out subs to Dr. Habsburg, Meme Weather, Dangle, Thumbtack, Lando Fresh, and Frog TV. If you guys got a gift sub from William DeFuck, let him know you appreciate it. Thank you very much, William DeFuck. Thank you, William. How long is it going to take to get the metal babble back up to speed? I don't remember where it was at. I got plus eight right now. Um, so, I mean, we'll, we'll just we'll see how it goes. Uh, drop that in favor of a return, I guess. Da, 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 da. You think it was 18 plus, was it? What have I got? Eight? Shit, it was fucking level 18. Wow. And it was that high. A devastating loss. <laughs> Cherry, and let's see if it's anything I like. Thunder. I mean, I could do this. Watch this. Oh, come on. Wait, he's not stunned yet? I thought this dude was already stunned. The num. You vaguely remember it being 15 plus. 18 plus sounds more accurate. I don't remember what it was. It doesn't really matter at this point since I lost it, does it? I'm just going to use it up 
this way. I don't really care about the thumbnail that much. Copper sword. That was shitty. Sometimes when you kill these guys, they give off good shit, but... Do that when you got bread and you gotta eat and you'll get yourself killed. Oh boy. Didn't expect this right now. Okay. Uh please tell me I have a bang. Oh yeah. Bang! I'm gonna do it again. Bang him, motherfucker! Do I have any... Oof. Oh, that's right, he has the double. I gotta... I'm gonna get out of here. see all those items though we're not leaving mm -mm. Mm -mm. and that's too much experience to give up too by the way something I have a club with muddle I could like here oh I should have used the fucking repel huh I'm stupid just remembering now that I have that right, identify fucking muddle dude did I just kill that dude in one hit holy shit Fuck you. You slow on him or something here, wait. I keep forgetting about it. All the traps and shit. And I just blew that up. <laughs> and I'm out of Come on, put the steel arrows on. I need them. Good. Blinding. Medical, okay. Confuse. Dude, fuck this guy. No! Whew. 
I don't want to get trapped. Fuck you. I'm on. I'll use a, uh, I'll use a slow thing on him. No, I'll use, I'll, I'll, I'll do the confuse on him. Good, go away. I don't want to step on those fucking buttons again. Let's see if he gives, gives off anything good. Identify. Two identifies. There's no staff to identify, right? And yeah, not yet. Shields ring. Well, it's like, what? What am I gonna do? Hope that that's a belly ring. I got like five of those back at the base or whatever. So I don't really care. I'm gonna go get out of this area. Oh, and then we're starting with him here. Muddle him. Muddle him away from me. I know the exit was right there, by the way, which is always nice, but. I'd like to have a buy kill. Can I have that? Willow. All right, we're gonna identify the Willow. I would like it to be a change staff. That would be awesome. Hey, wow. It actually was. That's the one I really like. So that's good. It's probably my favorite staff. Fuck. Piece of shit. Got a bang. All right, we're gonna kill this guy like this. Drop something good. Drop a upper by kill on curse. Elixir, all right. We're gonna use the medical. And we're gonna use an elixir. Now we're up to 95. I'm about to dodge on the road. I'll use up these wood arrows on this fucking asshole. Bump 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 ba dump ba dump bump 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 ba dump ba dump bump die demonite. There he goes. We got a bang. Cool. Ugh. All right. So I mean, I could do that on these guys too here. Should have walked further away. That was stupid. That was leather armor. Fuck that. All right, descending. Thank you, Retro Maniac James, for the tier one sub. Thanks for the subs, guys. Check out the you use. Check out the emotes. Use the emotes. Check out the animated emotes. Use the animated emotes. Throw the Torquino emote in if you got subbed. If you got a gift sub, thanks for the subs. There. Am I caught up? Willow was such a great movie, sad it never had a sequel. But it had an NES game. Can we consider that the sequel? Oh my god. There's another medical. Fuck. Here I was screwing around. Fuck out of here. supposed to be dead. Fine. Of all things for it wasn't the right angle. Can I please Please, please get my health back up. There. 
Alright. Um, I'm gonna use my medical. That works 96. Jesus. Bum, 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 bum. We're supposed to be getting a Willow TV series. I just th I, now I just think of Willow from fucking Buffy. <laughs> Dark, Dark Willow or Evil Willow or whatever it was. She turns into a vampire and then she's like a black mage. Basically. Blinding, confuse. Ooh, dangerous. Oh, very dangerous. Okay, uh, wait. Return time. Very, very dangerous. Was that was that gold? Fuck. Oh, it's a strength. I wait. I need that. Strength is up. Good. I can kill this thing. Fuck him. Don't do your move on me. I'm gonna use another return. I. I not be near. Well, unless I have. Wait. No, there's that other guy like next to me. Well, I could like. I shouldn't fuck around with this. This is. You don't fuck around with those guys. Perfect. It put me in the exit room. Fine, I'll kill this guy. Damn it. Get away from me. Get me out of here. Good. Muddle, muddle. What's up, lamb kebab? Uh, Firebomb, not extensively, but I went through all the licensed NES games on stream to a certain point. Oh, what? Fuck! <sighs> Son of a bitch. I have a torch, I'm gonna use that. Antidote. Do I need it right now? No. No, alright, well, there's the exit. This guy, like, not even alive at all. There's a numb. Those are good. I'm gonna search around a little bit. Oh, pff, you like how I literally use my torch so I can see? I do that, like, every time. Something wrong with me. Eventually get it to where I can hit them. There's another. There's the outside. That's like a dead end. Oh, there's like an invisible enemy here. Let's get him out of here. Is he stunned? Fucking god damn it! Blow up. Fuck out of my face. There's some invisible enemy. I hate those. What's down here? One of these guys. Oh, he can't pass that? I don't know what's going on with the green dude. I'm getting away from him. Oh, shit. I'm gonna change him. Fuck. That's not much better. <laughs> Thank you. 
What is he? Fucking in where? Oh, my god. No invisible enemy attacking me, please. There, where? Piece of fucking shit. I got him. Get out of here. Yeah, I'm leaving. Oh no. Oh, he didn't come alive. Wow. Surprising. Please get me to the door. Oh. This is shit. I'm getting out. While I can. Hidden trap. Ooh, a blaze. There we go. That's good. Uh... Doing this to get some health back. We're at 100 health. 100 health. Fucking asshole. Oh, great. Just what I needed. Jesus. Did I lose my repel? I, I just lost my fucking repel because I dropped it. Is that how that works? If you drop it, you lo basically lose it. Well, that's fucking awful. I mean, I, I could stand on it and make monsters come to me, maybe. <laughs> Actually, there you go. Get some use out of it yet. Sucks though. Ha! You know what though? I'm getting some use out of it. Out of arrows. Fuck you. No, I'm not. Oh, and that destroys it. Great. Watch this not even be the real exit. It's probably a mimic. I guess it is. All right. Well, at least I got some use out of that. Let me use the other string. I have one arrow left. Not good. Not good. Uh oh. Huh. Uh. Uh. I kind of forget what these dudes do. I think they make me go and like. God. Yeah, they do that shit, which is just great. So if I face down. Fuck. I'm getting out of here. Fuck this shit. Oh. I'm gonna try to get my health back. Giant eyeball, I'm confused. I didn't even see the giant eyeball. Get me out of here. Fuck these giant eyeballs. I can't move like that. Ugh. I can use a blaze on him. I can handle this guy, right? Come on. You're a fucking pussy ass by now. Uh, 
I can't go fucking around. Well, I'll use the change staff. Fine. Do I have any returns left? I don't have any returns left. That's real bad. That is not good. Oh, one of these fucking things. Oh, is he taking my overall energy meter down or some shit? I think that electric guy took my fucking overall like energy down. Fuck, these are getting real bad. Here, hold up. Yeah, I was at fucking 100, now I'm at 90. Oh no. Oh, that's horrible. I didn't know it did that. I guess. I'll have to run away from those guys or something. Those fucking pink guys. Those dudes. They're fucking horrible, huh? I'm just gonna make a fucking run for it. Fuck this. Oh, God. Alright, well, I can kill him in two hits. Oh, my God. Do I have a blaze? Fucking, let's get rid of him. Stun this guy. Elixir, ooh, good. All right, I'm gonna use the elixir right now. All right, well, I'm up to 95. He's like, not real. He's dropped. Gold metal babble. I can throw the. I'll throw him. Ah. Puts me to sleep. Come on. Guess what? I'm gonna fucking just go. Let's see how far I can get down here. 24. Do I have a torch or anything? Outside. Amber metal babble change. Mm. Dangerous. I'll use the metal babbles if I need them. Or I mean the outsides. <laughs> there, fuck you. I mean these are good to throw. things. Shit. I can get him to get the fuck away from me. Oh, return. Thank you, God. Oh, God. Get him away from me, too. Uh, get, oh, God. Get away from me. There's the exit. Fuck. Oh, pitfall? Fine. Fine. <laughs> Alright, level 25. Uh, previously, level 25 was the furthest I had ever gotten. So if I can get... You know what? If I just go there and go down... You know what? Then again, I mean, can I kill this guy? I only got so much items left. Like, fuck it. I'm going to 26. Alright, this is the furthest level I've ever been to. to find oh, 
just want to find this thing and get out, man. Oh my god. Model. Dude. No. This is floor 27. Not much better. <sighs> Do I have a return? One return. That'll take me to floor 28, right? So th I have to like search this level for this thing. I wish I had a torch. Do I have a torch? No, I can kill this guy. He's dead. Can I muddle him or something? I can slow him. Fuck, you get away from me. So I have to find, fuck. Oh goodies, gone. <gasps> That's it! That's the item! Do you like the, the the blue ball guy right before this? I hit him with my sword and he died. This guy hit with my sword and he blew up. In case you didn't realize what happened right there, the item that I needed to get was right there and it just blew up. Well, there's no other reason to go on, so outside. copy guy <sighs> well we saw the item so it looks like a, it looks like the safe but it's gold I gotta store my stuff we're cl we're getting close though at least I mean it's the first time I've ever seen it I thought that was gonna be it though You know what though, even if I would have got it, I would have had to make it all the way out. It's it's not by the way, it's not you just get it and then it's over. You have to get it and then make it all the way out. So Alright, I'm gonna sell all this the rest of this stuff. So taking from her metal babble, belly ring. See how many? I got like a million of them. Um, on the shield, the scale shield, and I'm gonna take an outside with me, I guess. We 
going to go back in. Nobody know, ever knows what happened to that creepy kid. All right, there's the items I'm going to take back, back in. I'm going to take a quick break. I'll be back, and we'll go through it again. I can't fucking believe that happened. I'll be back.
and he does a dance. This is his happy dance. At least he's happy. I'm not very happy, because I just died. Or, no, I didn't die, actually. I blew up the fucking treasure, is what I did. This is Mystery Dungeon. We saw the final treasure, and I blew it up by accident. Put my sword back on. Put my shield back on. Put my ring back on. Drop the bread. And here we go. There's a PS1 game like this. I know, I streamed it. Pizza Farts 2021. Is there also a Pizza Farts 2022? And a 2020? And a 1997? Could the happiness box spawn on the next floor? Oh, like if it blew up on 27, it would be on 28? Uh, that, uh, that's a good question. I have no idea. I didn't think about that. I guess I could have tried to make it to the next floor to see, but I don't... I don't... I, I don't know. Like if it blows up, will it be somewhere else? That's... that's uh, I, don't, I have no idea. Maybe somebody in the chat knows the answer to that. I, I don't know. Very, actually, a very good question. The happiness chest supposedly keeps respawning randomly at floors above floor 27. Oh, so if I keep going, I might find it anyway. Huh. Interesting. Did not know that. I mean, it's pretty tough by that point anyway. All right, so that's about it for this level. Level one we're at here. <laughs> Doing great. If you hit the happiness box a little too hard, it'll explode. Just a little lesson for you guys. It's the reason I did that. I was just trying to teach you guys something about life. If you smash that happiness box hard enough, there'll just be a huge explosion. That's how that that's how it goes. So this game's for uh, Super Famicom. I'm playing a translated version of it. Because I wouldn't be able to read it otherwise. That was my attempt to get off of that subject. Descending Simketsu86, thank you very much for the sub. Thanks, Simketsu. which is part three doesn't have any English translations as of yet though the Game Boy Advance port at yes yeah, so you're talking about some of the, like the later Tornico or Sheeran games I'm assuming Rafe you not like all of them are translated yet right I'm just I'm just trying to get through this one right now we'll play some more I'll probably get this like the Sheeran the Wanderer games you know we'll, we'll get into that um, maybe not immediately but eventually I don't know what I want to play after I finish this. Uh, oh, we got an upper. That's good. Let's use that. Oh, 
Uh oh. Let's finish this guy off. Finish you off, see? Once you get the happiness chest, it makes the outside scroll not work while the chest remains in your inventory. Oh, I, I would imagine. I, I knew I'd have to walk out. You know. So that, that's all right. Or assumed, at least. If you could just use the uh, scroll at that point, that would be kind of weak. We got strength. Blinding gold. Arrows. Guess we can equip the arrows. Do, 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 do. Play Madden 98? No. Mike will stream every Madden game from the NES to current generation consoles. Wasn't the original like a PC game actually? Like DOS or something? I believe I've seen that. I think I saw that at a store one time, the first one. The wife's bar turning it into a strip club would be so nice. Tornico, you talking about Tornico's wife? You talking about you talking about Tornico's wife? You talking about my wife? <laughs> I think that was that was the plan anyway, though. I think that's what she wanted to do. We're going to get a pole. It's going to be great. Tornico's going to hang out. That creepy kid is going to be wandering around. I wonder what happened to that creepy kid in this game. Confuse. Do 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 do. Lick, 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 lick it up. Have I been on Steam lately? What is up with all the dirty video games on there now? It's crazy. Um, did they put beat em and eat em on there? Like, I don't know what dirty games you mean. I've been on Steam, yeah, but I mean... It's not, I mean, I've played like garlic. <laughs> I think I got that on Steam. So I don't know what games you're playing. John Madden Football 1988 Apple II. Yeah, there you go. That's about right. The good old Apple II. I would like to do an Apple II stream one day, for sure. Nothing but Apple II. That's where these streams are heading. Eventually one day I'll be like 60 years old and we'll just be doing Apple II games by then. It'll be great. I can't wait. We'll get to that. That's what I love about this. We're just gonna time will go by and we will we're gonna get to all the games <laughs> not all of them we'll be dead first but we'll get to a lot of them though we've already gotten to a lot of games I mean honestly think about how many fucking games I've streamed over the last what, six years or something imagine how many games I'll stream over the next six years repel you didn't pick up Repel. Well, I'm gonna pick up Repel.
And I finally did Ninja, or not Ninja Guy, uh, Kid Icarus. Well, I did do Ninja Gaiden, all the Ninja Gaiden shit. So I don't have to hear about Kid Icarus anymore. <laughs> that's what's, that, I'll be honest with you, that's what's nice sometimes about beating something, because people, people do, you should do Kid Icarus, you should beat Kid Icarus, Mike, play Kid Icarus. When are you gonna do Kid Icarus? Have you considered doing Kid Icarus? Well, now we did Kid Icarus, and that's, that's done. Leisure Suit Larry Apple II stream. Uh, I had one of the Leisure Suit Larry games back in the 90s. I want to say it was like maybe the third one. I think it had a pink cover or like red or something. That's the only one I remember ever playing. Just whatever. I don't even, I don't remember which one it was. Sometime in the 90s. I haven't played a lot of those. And then I've also played um, Beat 'em and Eat 'em, of course. And then, no, the best, the best one is that I think it's, I think the one I always get it confused, but I think it's called Lady in Waiting. It's the one where you're like the Dr. Seuss guy, and then you go up to the castle and fuck the princess in the ass. That one's great. Highly recommended. It's good because you build the bridge to get to get across to the other side. It's actually, it's actually pretty fun. Like gameplay wise, like I actually like it. <laughs> That's the best one of those. Cause Beat 'em Eat 'em is just like a shit version of Kaboom. I mean, really. It's like why not just play Kaboom? Oh, cause you want to see the guy jerking off the side of the building with the witch uh, swallowing all the cum or whatever it is. That's the reason to play it. I forgot it wasn't about quality gameplay. Sounds wholesome. It's very wholesome, yes. Don't be talking shit on beat him and eat him. I will have none of that. Strength went down by one point, fuck you. Do -do -do. What is going on? Oh my god. They're all just fucking shooting arrows at each other. Um, I don't have a bang on here. I hate these fucking magicians. I want to get closer to these fucking guys. So annoying with her fucking arrows. Oh, this is gonna be great. Um. At least get him away from me. Oh my god, is he gonna split? These arrow motherfuckers gotta go. Come on. I know it's these fucking guys. Come on. This is so aggravating. Oh, he's behind him. Do diagonals so I can kill him. Fuck you. Get out of here. So annoying. Slowing this whole thing down. Jesus. Alright. You know, I'm gonna use this so that I don't hit like some fucking pitfall or something. Antidote. I need to use that, right? I have a strength now. Didn't I have a strength? Thoughts so I maybe already did that regardless. 
Oh, see, there's the pitfall. World? Copper. Let's see if I have an identify. I do. We're going to identify Cherry as a chaos. We got to identify Steel as a thunder. Thunder, thunder, thunder. What do we got? Plating. Don't need it. Let's just use it up. Elixir. Hey, hey, elixir, elixir. What if they were? What if this whole room was nothing but elixirs? There's an outside torch. Medical. Uh, I don't really need the muddle that much. We're gonna use the medical. Do -do 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 -do. Mummies. Mummies alive. I'm gonna make my whole channel, my whole my whole YouTube channel, nothing but mummies alive videos. Mike's top ten moments from the first episode of Mummies Alive. Mike's favorite Mummies Alive action figures. That's probably good for the YouTube algorithm, don't you think? That's probably what it's, the YouTube algorithm is looking for. Because nobody knows what it's looking for. It's just... You ever seen a Borg cube? The inside of a Borg cube? With the alcoves? That's basically like the Google... Um, uh, you know, where they keep the, like, the servers. So that, that's what it looks like. That's what you're dealing with. I mean, you think you're dealing with a person you can talk, there, there's no people. There's a person that'll give you free, uh, be like, oh, would you like would you like some swag? Would you like a bag with a, a heart on it? No, I'd like to fix uh, my videos so that like they show up, so that when people subscribe to me, like it actually they actually get the video. And the person goes, <laughs> oh, oh. That was funny, Mike. Very good. Here's a cup with a heart, the YouTube gaming heart on it. Enjoy. And then I said, well, what about, I want the people to see my video. And they are, they, then, then they pull a thing and then a trap door opens and then you go down the trap door. And that, that's YouTube. It's great. Make a YouTube channel, kids. <laughs> oh my god. Mike's merch will be a bag that looks like a ball sack. That's right. Did I do the medical at the wrong time? Andy said medical wasted. Did I do it? Uh, maybe I did it at the wrong time. If I did, oops, I didn't mean to. I don't really care about the thunder one that much, so I'm gonna drop that. I'd rather have the blaze. Fuck you. I don't want the bread. And those are just bags. Son of a bitch. Who's this sitting up here? It's this guy. Kill him. Fuck you. Alright, I'm just gonna go now. That's enough of this level. You use the medical when you had full HP. You went from 47 to 48. Oh, so I don't know what he's talking about, that the medical is wasted. Oh, he doesn't understand that your HP goes up, is what it is. Yo, so, Andy, we gotta, we gotta have a conversation about how the game works. So, if I'm at 51 and I use a medical, it'll take my overall HP to 52. So you want to be using them in that manner, not just for health.
it said recover two HP. Well, I don't remember what happened. That's what you do, though. You use it to get your HP up. Instead of just, like, getting your health back. If you can't, I mean, if you really, really need it, like, then do it that way, but... You had a second one? Like, you know what, I don't remember what happened, so we're just gonna move on. All right, there's a bang. All right. Gotta have the bang in that. Fine. Plating, what's that? What's over here? A dead, bunch of dead ends. I can kill that guy in one hit, which is great. Can I kill him in one hit? Not yet. Just do this until the enemies come. Come on, come on, come on, come on, come on. Fuck you. I mean, this is a good area to get some experience. Come on. Do, 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 and then they come every once in a while. Anybody else? No? Alright, we'll go. Norway is fucking cold today, says Frames Per Sausage. Are you in Norway? And if so, have you read any Donald Duck today? I saw a comment from somebody, because I talk about Donald Duck stuff a lot, and they said, and the person was from, I think, Norway or Sweden, and they said, I only learned just recently that Donald Duck comics came out in the United States. It's like, you know, you people don't have ownership over Donald Duck. <laughs> you realize this, right? Because, like, Donald Duck's comics and shit are very popular over there. I think they think that, like, it's their thing. It started in the United States in, like, 19... In the early 1950s, like 1952, 1953, it was the most popular comic for a little while in the United States. And they were made in the United States. So, don't be trying to take Donald Duck away. <laughs> don't be trying to act like that's, that's your thing. Did the, did the Nor did I did the Norway guy leave? Is he gone? <laughs> He's never coming back. He's probably very angry at me now. He's like that Donald Duck is ours. Fuck you. He's gonna plot his revenge against me. They're so popular there they don't even know who did them. Well, you know they. Well, the thing is, is there's a lot of. Um, artists that do them just for Norway and then, then then they write them in the Norwegian language and whatever. They have their own artists that do like Norwegian Donald Duck comics and whatever. But they started here and were popularized here. The problem is it was 70 years ago. <laughs> so nobody rem remembers, you know? There's another medical. Bum, 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 bum. Why did I drop that? I did not mean to drop that. I'm not paying attention. In Sweden, the Donald Duck comics are just American comics translated poorly to Swedish. Hey man, I actually know the guy who does the translation, so. 
He'll, he's gonna have words with you. <laughs> He doesn't do them all, though, so... <laughs> Carl Barks or Don Rosa? Here's how I'm gonna answer that question. If you asked Don Rosa that question, I'm pretty sure he would say Carl Barks. Because, you know, Don Rosa idolized Carl Barks, which is why he ended up doing all of his own comics. All right, um... He's confused, like... I gotta pay attention to what I'm doing now, though. So, um... I'm, like, trying to make some inventory space for better items. Southern Sun World? I love Don, Don Rosa comics, though. I, I like both of them. They're great. You know, I can tell the difference. Don, Don Rose's stuff is really wordy. In fact, it's re actually really funny. Like, some of the bubbles are just, like, paragraphs and paragraphs where Carl Barks didn't need to do that. He, like, simplified it into shorter, you know, he was able to make things more concise. He could say what he needed to say in fewer words. It was more like, you know, an artist, uh, you know, finally refining their words as opposed to like making 85 paragraphs. Once you get above floor 22 or so, if you start picking up weapons, you may find Abacus, which is a stronger weapon than Metal Babble. Yeah. You know what I also, Wraith, I was wondering, do you think the Dragon Sword is stronger or better than the Metal Babble, or you think Metal Babble's better than the Dragon Sword? I've been just going for Metal Babble because that's what the game has been giving me more of. I do have a Dragon Sword, but I don't know, I've just kind of been going the Metal Babble route. No match for Daffy Duck. Well, that's a totally different story. Oh, and there's a Dragon Sword right there. Not leveled, though. Did he die or use an outside? On the last run, I fucked up and I blew up the fucking treasure. And then I used an outside because there was no real point to keep going as far as I knew at that moment. That's a good thing. That that takes away the the, the puppets. Uh, uh, here, I'll just like use that, I guess. Metal Babble's really strong. Does extra damage versus the Metal Babbles. Right. I've killed some of those. The Dragon Sword is technically one stage lower than the Metal Bible, but does extra damage versus dragons, I see. So it's kind of similar, basically. Got another Metal Coal. Don't throw me, push me away. will be the run. We'll see what happens. I have an outside though if I need to use it. Fucking so aggravating to go back and now I can't kill these fucking guys in one hit anymore. Need more strength. Not that the game will ever give me another fucking strength thing. Yeah, I could like... I could shoot the fucking wall like an idiot is what I could do. Alright, what is it? It's elixir. Oh, good. Perfect. 
So what I found is killing those demonites, they tend to give pretty good items. I don't care about that. I'm just gonna go. So it's pretty good to kill them. Thank you, Decomposing Smurf, for the sub, and Tokiz187, and I am Sock. Bunch of gift subs coming in. I appreciate the subs, guys. Thank you very much for that. It's very nice of you. Wraith, have you done the post game after getting the happiness box and then going back to the game and doing like the 99 floors? Have you tried that stuff? Do I wear socks? I do wear socks. Do you think I go around bare, barefooted? <laughs> I don't wear any of those socks. They're the work of the devil, you know? I don't believe in those. I don't like to do no reading. Pa ain't like no do no reading. Let me grab this. Uh, blinding. I'm gonna drop that. Elixir time. Let's 66. Almost 69. Ha! Ah, so disappointing, isn't it? Motherfucker. Oh, he took an eavesdrop? Well, fuck him. Blinding. You gonna warp me? Do you use toilet paper or just leaves? We've had so many conversation about toilet paper on here. Like, literally, like, hours and hours of conversation. I remember we came up with, uh, my chat tended to like Charmin, or um, like uh, the uh, wet baby wipes to wipe their assholes with. So I've been th all, through all that before. I've been through all of this before. You take a break. Mike's shitting right now. You know you can do that for every single streamer, right? Somebody takes a break. I bet they're shitting. It'd be like you know, watch like a, a Saturday Night Live and then it goes to commercial. Hey, I bet Will Ferrell's taking a big shit right now. Like maybe he is. Maybe he is. Like whatever. Mike, have you ever missed the toilet shitting? Oh, wait, you're supposed to shit in the toilet? Now you tell me. Well. What do you expect from me? How would I know that? Do you wear socks? I don't care about the gold. You aim for the edge so that you can leave a streak. That's good. You're the guy from Norway, aren't you? Is that is that just what you do? Frames per sausage? Or is that just like what the deal is in Norway? Is that how is that how everybody does it? Have you ever had a conversation with all your buddies? Shadow the Hedgehog is also from Norway. Shadow the Hedgehog, then you need to tell me, do you also shit on the edge of the toilet to leave a streak? Let's find out if this is like a Norwegian thing. Let's find out. 
I want to know. Which console is your personal box of happiness? Uh, I mean, there's a bunch of them. <laughs> there's not just one. I have a bunch of boxes of happiness. I've got many, many boxes of happiness. Let me tell you. <laughs> You're the guy from Norway, aren't you? <laughs> yeah, as if there's like the one guy, right? You're that guy. <laughs> You're that guy from Norway, aren't you? NES, SNES, and Genesis. See, for me, for me, I put Atari in there too. Um, I'm a little bit old. I'm kind of old. Also, I don't know. Boxes of happiness. Honestly, probably like actual arcade machines. Really? If I had to pick one, like one thing. Like being able to go to a real arcade and play the coin op machines. That's hard to beat for me. If I'm gonna, if I get only one. Mike, you are the best, says it's Jason. No, Jason, you're the best. Jason, you know, you and I, <laughs> remember that one time behind the, behind the Barnes and Nobles? Remember that time? You know what I'm saying? <laughs> oh, am I streaming? <laughs> you, you mentioned you should, this should be the year of poop knives instead of cum, right? Um... I mean, yeah, I've, I've had enough of the, I've had enough, I've had enough cum, let me tell you. Now, now I'm in the mood for poop knives. <laughs> Good old poop knives. Top 10 poop knives. You know what would be a really good poop knife? Uh, the R Rambo's, like, machete. That'd be a good way to do that. Just cut that turd like hot butter. Uh, you no, know, you gotta take out that knife and you gotta slice it. You get so supposed to slice it this way, but I was slicing it vertical like that, and I didn't even know until now. You gotta slice it the other way before you push the thing, and it goes, it was, yeah, you know, you know who told me? Adrian told me. I said, yo, Adrian, I can't get this shit to go down the toilet over here. She said, we got your poop knife. That's my Adrian voice. It's the same. As the, all the other ones. <laughs> Is that Rambo or Rocky? You'll never know. You'll never know. Is this game bad? It's so bad. This game slaps, my chat says. Is that supposed to mean like your balls like slapping when you're uh, when you're when you're fucking? 
when you're doing the fucking and sucking. Is that what that means? <laughs> Ass clapping. <sighs> it's going well, huh? This game is totally radical, my dude. This game's totally radical, dude! Pizza! Ooh, I picked up another blaze. That's good. Uncurse. Mm-hmm. Do I have... Oh, that belly ring is cursed! Isn't it? Not that it makes a difference, but... We're gonna do it. Do-do-do-do-do-do-do! Because then I would, like, beat the game, and then I'd be like, You beat the game, but your belly ring was cursed, so it doesn't count. Fuck you, fucking piece of shit. That's the comment I'll get. Do you think that guy has a worthwhile life? What do you think that guy does after he types that comment? We probably don't want to know, do we? Probably can't say. How many outsides do I have here? I got two outsides. He types comments for a living. Yeah, that'll get you far. Wolfmaster says, fuck that guy. Fuck him! Fuck him! Mike, if it was 1921, what do you think you'd be doing? Nothing could be finer than to be in Carolina in the morning. No one could be sweeter than my sweetie when I meet her in the morning. I think I'd find something. I'd find something. When the morning glories twine around my door, torch repel outside, antidote. I don't need the antidote, right? Not yet. Um, what do I have to scrap? Come on, muddle. I don't want the muddle. Finally got a couple arrows. Is that another? Ooh, it's a. One of these fuckers. Have you ever sang those songs while doing karaoke with friends? The, the songs I like are often not available on the different forms of karaoke, like Carafun and whatnot, unfortunately. You, you would think. Sometimes they have, like, old, like ancient stuff, but... Oftentimes I look for something and it's not it's not there. And what does the karaoke business do now anyway that everything's on YouTube? Like, is it over? Is karaoke dead now? We got a medical. Motherfucker. Motherfucker. Fucking piece of shit. Zoomers don't know what karaoke is. Well, it doesn't matter because they're not here, are they? And do we have to say Zoomers and Boomers and all that? Can we just say, like, young and old? Can we go back to that? I, I like that better. Is that is that a Boomer mentality, too? Probably. You know, I have to say that. Uh, eat my asshole. That's what I have to say about that. Let's identify the cedar. Okay, boomer. Yeah, the okay, boomer thing. I went into a mall. There was a shop at a mall, and they had behind glass a bunch of. Um, patches and stickers and stuff like that they were selling and there was a, several that said okay boomer I think when you get to the point when your thing is being sold like at a mall 
to like teenagers, I think your phrase, that's when your phrase dies. You know? Your grandmother is at the mall. She's like, oh, I think Johnny, I think I'll put, I'll put the OK Boomer thing into his stocking. He thinks that that's funny. What are they called? What are they called? Oh, the memes. That's right. Oh, yeah. Well, who can, I don't care. Whatever the fuck these kids do these days. Worthless piece of shit, aren't they? <laughs> yeah. Don't tell them I said that, though, okay? That's pretty much how that goes. Okay, comer. We're gonna popular popularize that. You know, that'll be my merch. Okay, comer. that are like asleep is like there's some way to wake those up or there those are just like I guess those are just like random RNG too huh where it's just like they might be awake they might not be I guess Bolt says, imagine being in the nursing home and the millennials and Gen Z will be taking care of you. Yeah, this is this is how that'll go. I can't shit. I need help. My my asshole. Somebody help me. You're hitting the button. Beep, beep, beep. Oh, did you need help, sir? Yeah, I can't shit. Just what? I said I can't shit. Okay, I'll be, I'll be with you in a minute. Hang on. What are you doing on that thing? I, 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 got, I got blood coming out of my asshole. What? Huh? It's good. Twisted says, shut the fuck up and clean my ass. <laughs> oh, shit. Sounds like a pack of dag bugs, Bonnie. What's <laughs> up, Doc? Oh, shit. Pickle. Linerd sub with Twitch Prime. Thank you very much for that. What? 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 I need to be able to get some experience. I'm trying not to... Don't kill me. Don't kill me. Don't kill me. I said don't kill me, not kill me. Did he really drop bread? Fuck him. Numb. Blaze. Okay. Uh, Blaze. <clears throat> I can't believe I dropped two fucking floors there. Um, what is the chaos 
one I'm doing yet. I'll say. Move erratically for a short time. That's not as good as slow, because slow I can get away from somebody who's dangerous. In my opinion, that's not as good. Boom, 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 boom. These demonites I like to kill, because maybe we'll get something good out of them. Hi, arrows. Am I really? I really am. Okay. Well, fucking kill you that way. How about that? How about that, motherfucker? Clairvoyant? Clairvoyant. Yeah. Oh, well, antidote. For one thing, I didn't realize that was one down. Alright, I got clairvoyant. Do, 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 do. This music is gonna be in my head until I die. I'll be on my fucking deathbed. Motherfucker, what do you think you're doing? Punching me? Fuck you. Descending. Silent wet fart sub, thank you very much for the sub. And we're in a monster lair. Excellent, just what I needed. All right, let's. I've got an idea. Perfect, check this shit out. Oh, do I not have? I don't have arrows. That was my plan. Shit. What if I... God damn it. I was gonna have to shoot arrows at it and then blow them all up. Um, okay. Well, oh. Sometimes they just die. Whew. And there's the exit. All right. Piece of fuck. Identify. All right. I don't have any of those. Plating. Numb. Oh my god. Oh my god. Um, how did this happen? Oh my god. Um. Burn! Also burn, please. Yeah, you could also burn. Thank you very much. moving too fast. Fuck me. Is it gonna be another one of them? No. I need arrows. Do 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 do. Do 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 do. I can kill you. I didn't mean to do that. I stepped wrong. 
You will die this time. You will die. You will die. <laughs> what do I have? Do I have, oh, I've got some bangs. All right, here we go. If I need to do it, I'll use a bang. All right. Medical, let's use it. Good. Muddle, don't care. Um, I'm gonna use the torch to see the traps and shit. Eavesdrop. Dun, dun, identify, blinding, uncurse. Torch. Might as well get the experience from these guys. They're not too tough to kill. Ooh, a return. Okay, so we want to get that. We're gonna grab that. Medical. Return to sender, address unknown. No such person, no such soul. All right, there's my medical. We're gonna use it. Up to 99. Uh, I got another medical, I'm gonna get up to 100. Nice. 100 plating. I like to read the platings and pretend that I'm like double and triple plating my shields. I know that it doesn't do anything. It's my own mental illness at work. Ooh. Again, I moved wrong. It's not how you do that. Fuck you. All right. Let's stun this guy. Good. He's no longer a problem. Now I'm full energy. I have nothing to stop that guy. So I'm gonna get out of here now, I think. I think, I think. That would be a good idea. Oh, it's another return though. Hang on, hang on. Those are good. Uh, Get rid of the model for that. Fuck you, fuck you, fuck you, fuck you, fuck you. Okay. All right, we're level 16, that's good. Who is this? Oh, fucking, god damn it. Well, I can slow him. Fucking. Well, that was a mistake. That's not what to use on him. Oh, seal! Fuck! I used the wrong fucking thing. I was supposed to use seal on him. Here, seal. Use the right item, Mike. There. I, I knew what I was supposed to do. I just fucking wasn't thinking. I'm gonna go. Getting my health back. Silver. All right, did I have an identify? I do have an identify, so we're gonna... I'll use a clairvoyant. Dude, that's gonna be a monster lair, isn't it? Uh, probably. So we're gonna identify the silver. It's asleep, okay. And I could go, but do I wanna do that? Not really. This is a good level to actually, I have two outside, so I don't really care about the outside on this, but I want to kill monsters and shit, so um, I'm gonna use, is that my only torch? No, I have two torches. I need to organize my shit here. 
All right, I got two torches. I'm gonna just like look around. That's not gonna be a monster lair, actually, is it? That's just a room. Pretty sure. Let's go look and see. Uncursed, don't care. We can see what all these items are, though. Is there somebody that's invisible? I think so, somewhere. Did I get him yet? There, now he's dead. Fuck. I want to stun him. Alright. Got my health back. What do we got? We got an identify. Let's clear up some inventory space. Got another. That's the outside for the level 20 that I don't need at this point. We're passing him. Gold don't care about. That was kind of a pathetic level 20 at that point. No green guys or anything. Descending. Descending. He's alive. He's alive. Oh, it's a that's the first fucking buy kill I've seen the whole fucking run. Jesus Christ. Let's get it. They're very much not giving me those often at all anymore. All right, Metal Babble 9 now. Thank God. Not enough items to be a monster lair. Agreed, Andy. Bush's baked beans helps you fart. Thank you, Shadow Crisis. Or any beans, really. The magical fruit. Made sure I had to read my comments because, you know, there's always important things going on in my chat that I have to keep up with. Roll that beautiful bean footage, they say. That's right. Um, this is a good spot to use a... Should we do a slow on him? Let me think about this for a second. I can put him to sleep. I mean, I could kill this fucking guy. Do I have a return? I do. I've got, I'm gonna kill him. That's what I'm gonna try to do. Oof. Let's move around a little bit. Get a little health back. Jeez. Wow, that didn't last long at all. I was gonna sleep for like two fucking seconds. He's after me again. There, now he's dead. All right, geez. Level 17. to level 18. Ah, crap. Jesus Christ. God help me. Club. That's a nobody. Strength went down. Great. He's dropped on curse. Plating. That was. I was. Wasn't I in here? Fuck. I want to get him out to the bigger rooms because you don't want to get like stuck. I'm doing everything I can to like level up more. So that when we get further. Get my ass killed. Get my ass handed to me. Alright, I guess that's... I mean, I could go get this thing, I guess. That's about it. Alright, descending. Yeah, 
you should always listen to a talking dog. Should you? So if Goofy comes up to you and he says, Hey, you ever seen a grown man naked? You better pay attention. Fuck. Two of these, huh? Second antidote. Come on. Now I know those pink electric guys get nowhere near them. All right, we're gonna use the seal on him, so I'll be all right. Seal. Wave the seal. Fucker. Mimic! Will I get anything out of him? Nothing? Oof. Ow. Dead and dead and dead. You suck. You suck! This ready it stinks! That's like not good. If I can get down to where I can kill him in one hit. Is he alive? What do we got over here? We got a eavesdrop. You know what? Do I have any shit like that? Let's see. This torch repel return. Hmm. I'm gonna use that immediately. Help me out a little bit. A little bit. <sighs> Fine. How many of these do I have left? Two? The other one I can throw, I believe. Oh, shit. Um, I'm gonna use a return. throw it, I think it'll work. I hope it worked. So I'm, so I'm out of those now, so kind of in trouble. Ease drop, already did that. Arrows would, but you know what? I don't, I don't have any. I haven't had arrows for a while. Shit pretty quickly. One of these bats. Oh, oh, you know what? Good. <laughs> Good. What's this? A re that's another return. I'll take that instead of the muddle. So, how many, like, torches do I have now? One. I mean, this might be a good place to use it. I'll use it on like the next level, maybe. Oh, there's the exit. What do we got here. What, the, what can I use? Um, 
What if I did an arrow and then attack them? Hey, an arrow and an attack works on them. Ooh -hoo -hoo. Do, 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 do. Oh, pff. wasn't ready to go yet. I guess I'm gonna use the torch now. So I'm, okay, I gotta go all the way over there. <sighs> Do I have a change staff? I've got slow, I've got sleep. Gee, I thought I had a change staff. I guess I don't, huh? I got the repel. Put him to sleep. I'm gonna purposely go down this. Didn't work. That one did. One more floor. And the exit's not. Okay, there's along the right side is where the thing is here. Can I kill these? Turn and hope to God it doesn't put me next to somebody that could kill me. Leap of faith that it doesn't put me next to somebody that kills me. Please. Okay. There's also a repel. What's this item gonna be? It's an upper, okay. Well, that's good. I'm gonna use another one. All right, down there, now we found it. Repel is at my feet. I'm gonna hope no bullshit happens. Is that, oh, the dragon can still hit me? Did that hit me? Did that hurt me? How much did that hurt me for? The dragon can still hurt because it has the range spell. Twenty HP. I can't lose my items. I mean, look at that situation. That was a mess. It was. That, like, there was not much I could do.
I'm, I was just not willing to lose all that, you know? Because what were the chances I was going to make it out of that? 2%, you know? It's not fucking worth it. Sleep slow, slow. This is all my stuff, huh? Alright, numb, bang, wood. Alright. Let's get my stuff out again. Metal battle plus nine. They got me one buy kill on that run. There's my belly ring. I need my shield. Scale shield. And my outside. Give me an outside. And that's it. So we got metal babble, belly, scale, outside. That's what I would like to have. And all right, I am going to take a quick break and I will be back in just a moment and we will continue on with Tornico. Be right back.
Lord Awesome is here, everyone, with the Rocky emote. What's up, guys? What's up, Pizza Farts? I like how you made Mega Man X shoot the Hadoukens at Slimer, whatever that is. <laughs> Henry the Wizard says, you need to grind the dried, crusted poop from the knife after you use it. Uh, Henry the Wizard, what do you use yourself? What do you prefer to grind the dried, crusted poop pieces from your poop knife? Everybody's got their own method to that. I'm just wondering what he does. Okay, twisted tree fitty, but you know what? Um, there's 540 people here, so 536 people, so how am I gonna? You want me to remember? You want you? He wants me to remember that. I will attempt to commit that to memory, just for you. Speaking of which, have you found the poop knife in game yet? It is the strongest sword on floor 25. It's on, if on for, floor 25. Well, I've been getting to floor 25, so if I happen to encounter it, I will uh, definitely be sure to equip it. Oh, I mean, you are sending me an A1 steak through the mail, so I think we are friends. Uh, I, uh, as long as you stay subscribed for the next 40 years. Leanne Lightkeen, thank you very much for the sub. Very much appreciated. Pick Toadstool. All right, we're gonna get back to this. Hopefully we can get this on this run. Let's get it going. If you haven't seen this before, well, I'm sure you have by now, but this is Mystery Dungeon. This character here is Tornico. It's cursed. This is a roguelike. One of, if not the first, roguelikes. And I'm hopefully getting close to ending this. I definitely brought an outside with me, right? Yes, I did. So we also got Everything is plus nine right now. Maybe we can get some more uppers and buy kills to increase our sword and shield strength. We'll see. At this point, like, I think I can do it. I just need a run that's... If I get a lucky enough run, we can... I'll, I'll do this, I think. Honestly, I thought I was going to get it on that last one. Until they cornered me there. If I stream for 40 years, you will stay subbed. I would be 81. I see no reason to stop. What else am I gonna do? I mean, really. You know, you go on a vacation, you sit on a you sit on a beach. You can do that for a week, two weeks, three weeks. But eventually, it's like, all right, enough laying in the fucking sand. I got. I need to like do something.
apparently I get my enjoyment from uh, largely from video games, so this works out perfect for me. All right, we got an elixir. If they can just keep giving me elixirs, that'd be nice. Level two outsides are nice. Wait, tell me about level two outsides. Is that in this game? Is that an outside that I can continually use forever without having to keep picking up other outside? Like an outside? You know, be fucking a sweet item. An outside. It's a level two outside. It just, it just stays in your inventory, and you can always use it whenever. And you know, you can stop like picking up outsides. That'd be fu that'd be fucking nice. I need all these shields. Elixir hardly newer. But um bum. Good one. There you go. Glad you like him, crazy Swayze. build the sword after the bomb death. You mean the stream from the other day, Carrie? Uh, I'm working on it. It's not as strong as it was the other day, but I'm working my way back. I don't even necessarily know that I need the sword to be that strong. That'd be nice. standing with this game now? Are you done with this after the stream, regardless of how it goes, or will you continue after until you finish it? Um, if I don't beat it on this stream, I'll pro I will probably take a break from it for a few streams and then come back to it and try to beat it is where I stand with it. I, w I want to beat it on stream. And I'm, I mean, I'm getting close enough. I almost fucking did it earlier. I mean, who knows how hard it is to make it out of the fucking place, but... I was, I would say I was fairly close there a couple runs ago. Until I fucking blew the goddamn thing up. Like an idiot. Word? Hey, bye kill. All right, sweet. Level 10. Do, 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 do. Search for enemies, where are they? There you are. There he is, all right. Level five. Beat Toe Jam and Earl, actually. What's that? Uh, you still have to beat Toe Jam and Earl, right? Those were come. Uh, Carrie Robert. So on YouTube, I have a channel where I upload. It's like a garbage dump, basically, where I throw all these streams. <laughs> it's my stream archive. So check that out. Um, my Toe Jam and Earl stream is on there. Uh, from when I beat it, like a couple weeks ago or something. I don't know. 
I like that game a lot. I like the ending of that game. The fact that it like lets you play the ending. You can actually like still move around in Toe Jam's world. Since you died that run, do you keep anything? Um, yeah, stuff can go into your, uh, uh, whatever it's called, like back at the home base. There, right, we got steel arrows. Um, like, this shit is just like... But yeah, you have um, a shop in the beginning of the game where your wife is and kid and shit. And you go there and you can like, store some items and bring some back. Boom. Do I have an identify? I don't think I have any yet, right? Mm, nope. That so-called garbage channel brought you here, so it's not that bad. Oh, I meant, um... Check out my awesome YouTube channel. And, uh... I'm not good at, uh, advertising my shit, sorry. I don't know. What am I supposed to say? Watch it if you want to watch it, don't watch it if you don't want to, like... I don't fucking know. There's better things to do. But if you're in the mood to, like, you know, see some retro video games or whatever the fuck, I guess check it out. Like, I don't know. Do what you want to do. I'm not going to fucking tell you what to do. Come check out my YouTube channel, bro. Fuck that. You, you do what you want to do. I don't tell anybody to fucking do that. Whatever the fuck you want to do. Wilson Kurt Jack subscribed. Thank you very much, Wilson Kurt Jack. Roguelikes are addicting, right? Uh, they are, honestly. They they actually they really are. Very much so. They really, really, really are. Like, honestly, like, I could play, like, another round of Toe Jam and Earl, and, like, because it's a, uh, there's the fixed world and the randomized world, and because it has that randomized world, it's like, I could just, we could just do it again, and then do it again, do it again. It's like, you know, any of these fucking games is just, like, you play it endlessly. It's, it's kind of, like, it can be, like, an addiction. If you have that type of um, mentality, some people might play these games and be like, oh, this shit's boring, I'm not playing this. And I, I understand that. I get that. It's, I don't think it's for everybody. But for the people it is for, the people that do like this kind of thing, it's like, oh my god, I can't stop playing. It's like, it's like problematic. You know? Dragon plus one. Sleep, prevention. I don't use those fucking preventions, man. I don't just, they're not my, not my thing. I've learned now like what wands and stuff I like and what I don't like and for the most part. Gas shit. Thanks again, uh, Wilson Kurt Jack, for that sub. Nothing can replace handcrafted level design. Um, what the like a an NES hack compared to a randomizer? Is that what you mean? I mean, randomizers can get a little funky 
Especially like that Zelda 2 randomizer, it can get a little weird in spots. Um, it depends though, I don't know. I feel like the, the Toe Jam and Earl one randomizes in a way that works though. Like it's fine that it's randomized, I think. I think it, it, it just depends like what it, what it, what game you're talking about. Undermine. I'll look it up. Prevention with zero charges charges is useless. Yeah, it's just I don't like it. <laughs> anyway, even if it had ch the charges. Cause like the torch. Can just light up the whole like level. I don't know. Uh, Raymond Doyle. No, I haven't, and I don't really know anything about them. Classic games themselves, not the hacks. The classic games themselves. Like, what do you mean exactly? You just talking about like basic, like, like just straight up games that are like released onto cartridges? Is that what you mean? Well, Toe Jam and Earl's on a cartridge, and that's randomized. I think he just doesn't like randomizers, is what he's getting at. That's, and that's fine. Like, not, not everything's for everybody, you know? Would I ever stream the first Crash Bandicoot? Maybe 100% of it. Um, I played a little bit of it before. I think I did a um, stream of it at one point with Tony. Or some of it. I think I, I kind of liked that game. It was all right. Maybe? like blow me away or anything but it's it's all right possibly yeah with tony oh so i did do that michelodeon tv all right let's get these wooden arrows on which we got 48 of right now and that's a nice change of pace Nickelodeon has my big daddy Mike says Zelda's Harry Muff. Oh, your big daddy's right here. Ready and waiting. <laughs> yeah, that's Blanche, what they say called Blanche's uh, dad on Golden Girls. Big daddy. like Torquino's mum. Mumu? Mummy? What are you saying? I don't know. <laughs> How close am I to finishing this game? We'll see. 
Uh, Baylo Key, does that exist before floor 27? I haven't even seen one of those. I'm assuming that prevents the puppets from hurting you or something. That's cool, Baylo Key. You know what? I've never, never haven't seen one. Never, never haven't seen one. <laughs> All right, level 11. Get silver, steel, it's taking up a lot of inventory space. I could... Eat an eye drop. <laughs> oh, Moo Moo, okay. The way you spelt it was, I didn't know. I know that the spelling you just used uh, compared to the other spelling. Sammy Shehole says, I am drunk. Very good. Now what are you drinking? Who here's drunk? It's time it's time to find out who in my chat is drunk right now. We got one we got one person drunk. Is there anybody else drunk? Or is or is Sammy the only one right now? It's the game we're playing now. Do, 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 do. All right, I am going to use the strength item. Bum bum. Silent Wed Far is not drunk yet, but will be. Henry the Wizard says, the alcohol needs me so that you can turn it into urine. You, do you feel that the goal of the alcohol is to become urine? That's an interesting thought process. I haven't heard that before. As if the alcohol is sentient and has goals and motives. And is like, I must become urine. That's my alcohol voice, apparently. Didn't know I had one until right now. It's the same voice of the people that comment on my YouTube videos. <laughs> you didn't go left when you were supposed to. You went up. Fuck you. <laughs> I don't really want that prevention staff very much. So I'll be dropping it. Antidote. Mm -hmm. Time to go now. Goodbye, toadstool. That come on your videos. Like, come onto my YouTube videos and then, like, leave a comment. Like, come to the channel and not, like, they have the screen up and are jacking off onto... It. That's not what I meant, if that's what you, just to be clear, wasn't, wasn't saying that. I very well could have been saying that, but I wasn't. Identify. I can identify the amber ring, I guess. I'll use the clairvoyant. Identify the amber ring, I guess. Actually, wait, why am I? I'm not. No. No. I don't. I'm dropping. Well, somebody said that there could be a puppet ring. So I guess I'll start identifying the rings more again. What if it is that? Adornment. It's always these fucking adornments. Get out of here. Ooh, I get so frustrated with the fucking rings. It's like never what I want. Didn't people write that they jerk off on your streams before, says Evil Alex. You, every day. Pretty much, I get that. 
you know, what are you gonna do? <laughs> Die, motherfucker. Give me good arrows. Wood arrows, not... I said good arrows, not wood arrows. That is the opposite. You're not paying attention to me, game. Confuse. I guess that's about it for here. Nope, there's somebody here. What do you got? This guy? Can we do a little this? Do, 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 do. Aha! Who's gonna come next? Ooh, we got a bang. Nobody else? Okay. I guess they only go so far with that. Motherfucker! You can kill the mummy. Let's go kill the mummy. Ooh, one hit on a mummy now. Nice! Descending. Uh, zombie before sunset says, where's Elmo, Mike? Uh, in my ass. That's where that is. It's in my ass. Whenever that question comes up, you gotta like, who, what, when, why, how, where. When somebody says to you, where, where is, the answer always could be in my ass. You can use that for yourself. Next time somebody says, where is, Where's the remote control? In my ass. Where's the car keys? In my ass. It, wor it works for so many things. You'd be surprised. Descending. Where did you park the car? Exactly, there you go. I like that the chat is asking the where questions now. Where did you park the car? In my ass. There you go. That works perfectly, good job. See, they're listening today. Often my chat doesn't listen, or people on YouTube in the comments don't listen, but when I start talking about sticking things in my asshole, what was that? I heard what you said. I'm learning, I'm learning the secrets of how to get people to pay attention. I don't have any identifies. I do not have any identifies. Boom. Johnny Fat Sacks in my chat says, I love Mike's asshole. Thank you very much for that comment, Johnny Fat Sacks. Very nice of you to say. Very kind, very kind of you. Very kind comment. Is this good commentary for this um, Super Famicom game?
Master Shake says, where would you recommend a good starting point for the Castlevania series would be? Now, hang on a second. What, what kind of a disgusting comment is that? You know what? I don't really appreciate that very much. You know, we were, we were sitting here having a nice conversation, and you got to come in here and start talking about, asking me about the Castlevania series and where I, th I think you should start. You know where I think you should start? In my ass. Um, no. Okay, so... <laughs> Where should you start with the Castlevania series? Uh, there's the, the, it depends on you and what you want. I could give you recommendations, I, and I, maybe that's what you're looking for. Um, I mean, the beginning, Castlevania 1, just start at the beginning and then move on, I guess. I don't know. Uh, I'll tell you what my favorites are. I like Castlevania on NES, Castlevania 3, Rondo of Blood. Um, I'm personally not as much into the Metroidvania ones. Um, Aaron's been playing the shit out of those if you want to see somebody play the Metroidvania ones. Um, she's played more Castlevania at this point than I have. Um, and, uh, I really like, uh, Chronicles. The one on PlayStation. Well, you know, it was on the computer, but it was ported to... The PlayStation, Castlevania Chronicles. I like that one a lot. I tend to like the old style of Castlevania, the the like, you know, the classic classic style. I also like a nice rigid whip too. I don't like that floppy whip. You know what I'm saying? I don't need any. I don't have one of. I don't have a floppy whip. Let me tell you. I don't play with a floppy whip. I play with a nice, hard, rigid whip that goes straight out. Andy says, story or timelines don't matter to me, so it comes down to what versions are more appealing. Um, okay. See, there's the exit, but I'm trying to, like, level up a bit here. Indiana Jones has a whip. He does have a whip. And you know they're shooting a new Indiana Jones movie right now. I don't know if, they're, if it's still shooting or whatnot, but it probably is because what happened is, I don't know, a year ago or something, that they got Harrison Ford on the set, and, they, you know, he's, like, uh, 97 now, I think. Uh, I could be off on that, but I think he's 97. And they said, uh, all right, uh, this is Indiana Jones uh, 5 or 6, which one is it? And they said, all right, we're gonna, this is the scene with the whip. And then he went to grab the whip. You know how he keeps it on his belt? He goes to grab the whip, and his arm snapped off and broke off and fell on the ground. And they're like, all right, well, we're going to have to... We're going to have to take a break on shooting for a little while. So they took a break on shooting for a while. I think they were shooting some background scenes and whatever in the meantime. Scenes with other characters, whatever. But I believe uh, I believe he's coming back now. And um, I don't know if you heard the recent news, but uh, they got him back on set. And they're like, all right, it's time to shoot the scene we were shooting six months ago. Now that you're all healed up. So he goes to, he, he goes to grab the whip and is... Both of his legs fell off. They just came clean off. It was just a shock to everybody. So that's how that production is going. See, the, the point here is that he's old. A little too old to play the part if anybody's not understanding the, uh, the joke. That was the joke. Because he's old. <laughs> I'm going to descend to the next level now.
where did they store his missing limbs? In your ass. You should look. You should stick your hand in your ass and pull out Harrison Ford's arm. Mike Matei, 2022. Stick your hand in your ass and pull out Harrison Ford's arm. Unless the arm pulls you. Pulls you in. You stick your hand up your ass to pull out a human arm, but then the human arm pulls you in and you get sucked into your own asshole. Don't you hate it when that happens? That is just... I hate getting, like, migraine headaches, but I actually hate that worse. I mean, migraines are pretty bad, too. But yeah, just so you know, if, if you do get sucked into your own asshole, Tylenol will clear that up. Just take a Tylenol. It'll be fine. Good advertisement for Tylenol. Oh, that's the fart here. Listen to the fart. Oh. Well, you heard it. Listen to the fart. I just said. Years and years of streaming. Uh, there's how many fucking people are on this fucking channel? 63,999 followers I have. Almost one more and then it'll be 64,000. Um, 63,999 people followed me and yet this is what I talk about. Does that mean there's a problem with society? I would say yes. What is wrong? There's there's 63,999 people that have that also have problems. <laughs> it's a little scary. It's a little scary. Let me get rid of the confuse, I guess. All right, we got a blaze. Maybe by the end of the stream, we will get to 60, 64,000. We'll see. Because that, you know, that makes a difference. There's a big difference between 63,999 and 64,000. There's a big difference there. Because, you know, I am personal friends with every single one of those people. What, you don't believe me? Well, fuck you, alright? That's what I have to say to you. How dare you not believe me? It's true. I, hang, I hung out with every single one of those people over the last week. Isn't that right? Remember that guy I was just talking about earlier? We were hanging out behind the Barnes and Nobles. I'm telling you, we're all we're all having a good time. Maybe I should not bring that up again. <laughs> Oops. Remember Weirdo Tom? See, good friends with him too. He really loves me. Let's identify the cherry. Nothing I like more than identifying the cherry. It's been I it's been identified. How many 
any of you guys in my chat have uh, identified a couple cherries before? <laughs> Senketsu86, by the way, says, Rest in peace, Fat Cock Jr. Press F to pay respects to Fat Cock Jr. cherries. <laughs> That's right. Yay, yay. Weirdo Tom told me he's Harrison Ford's butler. He rarely gets time off. Yeah, well, that's because there's so much to do. Because, you know, if you, you know, he's got no way to pull up his pants or anything anymore after his arms fell clear off trying to grab that whip. Because he's old. I want to usually have two of those. I want that. I want that. Uh, numbs are helpful. Torch is good. Sleep's good. Multi edge. What's that again? Here we will have them. Mm. I should probably get a better one than that. I don't know. That's like an emergency wand. I don't think I really care for it. It's another torch. All right, we'll tell you what then. We're going to use this torch here. Grab this one. Fucking bastard. Da -da 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 -da. Jeez. I don't want to go that way. Where? Uh, let's see what's in here. Die. Ah, one hit. Good. Muddle. Eh. Bye kill. All right. We're going up to 12, is it? 12 it is. Demonite. And we got a cedar, huh? Do I have an identify on me? I don't. Um, I can replace maybe. At this point, I could replace the silver arrows and then hope for a identify to come up. Get rid of the multi-edge. I mean, fuck the multi-edge. I'm, I'm going to do that and grab those arrows, actually. And then let's equip the weaker arrows. I'm going to keep those for a little longer. All right, I think I'm going like, to go to the next level now. You can multi-edge some guys from afar. Oh, uh, can you? Well, gone now. <laughs> Sorry, I read that a little too late. I like how the quote is press F to pay respects, even though technically you have to press F and then enter to pay respects. No, it's not actually F, it's F, enter! Uh, 
Welcome to the internet, where everything has to be exact. And like one time I said, I'm like, uh, I was on the podcast, I'm like, oh, I've never played Minecraft before. I did that Inspector Gadget video a long time ago. And then I'm like, uh, you know what, I haven't actually played Minecraft, maybe one day I'll play it. And people are like, you did that! You did it with Inspector Gadget! What I mean to say is I probably played it for three minutes or something to record the footage for that video. I haven't really explored Minecraft to the point where I understand the game or appreciate it. But everything has to be exact. Because people on the internet are fucking insane. <laughs> like, God forbid something's not exact. You said me, 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 me. Fucking Jesus Christ. Sound like a bunch of old fucking women. <laughs> For the love of fucking God. Me, 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 me. You did me, me, me. Fucking go outside. That's right, I'm telling you to go outside. <laughs> I haven't been outside since about 1982, just, just, just to let you know. <laughs> Why don't you go outside? I'm, see, the thing is, I'm telling you to go outside. It doesn't apply to me. We're not talking about me, we're talking about you, right? That's how that works. There's, there's different standards when we're talking about me. Yet you have road rage? No, I'm perfectly, I'm perfectly sane on the road. It's totally fine. It's not, it's not a problem. You don't even know. Shit. Um, time to get out of here. Do, 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 do. Fucker needs to die. No. There we go. All right. sleep so I can get the fuck out of here all right 19 I need some items man because this ain't going too hot I feel like this floor is usually one where I always like fall down a pitfall identify all right identify identify intruder identify thunder fine It's cool how the cave art changes in the different areas. It is cool. You don't like people either. You don't hold it against me. Good. <laughs> Mike probably has road rage. Probably? All right, let's do... I'm not gonna fuck around with this guy right now. We're gonna blaze him up. Plating. You ever be driving in the fast lane and there's like two lanes? 
and you want to like get by the person, but the person's going too fucking slow, and then the person to the right, like, is like keeping up with the person that's going slow, so there's no fucking way to get around them. How how are you supposed to not have road rage? And the motherfucker that's going slow. Do, do the people that don't that drive slow not know the universal rule of get over to the fucking right if you're gonna drive fucking slow as a fucking slug? Get over to the right. You know what it is? That's their only power they have in the universe is to slow you down. So that so they just fucking do it. And then you drive by them. And then finally you get your opportunity after a little bit and you fucking finally are able to pass them. And when you finally pass them, this is every single fucking time, every single fucking time, this is their expression. Are they doing that just to piss me off? Or are they really that out of it? What kind of medication are, are they on? Like, you just try, and you just know they have no fucking ambition. Or, like, thoughts. They don't know what thoughts are. They're just driving like this, like, drooling on themselves. Pretty much. Might as well fucking be drooling. Pieces of shit. <laughs> oh, hi, I'm playing Mystery Dungeon. Do we have a bang? We have this bang. I'm gonna try to get into that hallway. If it fucking lets me. Alright, then I can only get hit by one thing at a time. Oh my god. Didn't expect that to happen. Um, I'll put it in the sleep for a second. The outside. Oh, level 20. I wasn't even realize I was on level 20. Now, what, what do I have? Three of those now? Let's see. I do. Alright, I don't need three, so I'm dropping one. Plating again. Fucking... Numb. Fucking, like, fuck you, game. Oh, it actually revealed a trap. Wow. Identify. All right. Uh, nothing to identify. Of course. Numb. Um. There's so many of those already. Do 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 do. Do 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 do. Fine. I, I'll kill you, bat. It's fine. I drop. I don't care. Don't be one of those bombs, muddle. Is the bat just like randomly dropping items? Is that what they do? Oh, of course, this guy. Here, we'll do this. Boom. 
What do you got? Medical, nice. All right, so we're gonna drop. Rod. Use the medical. Ooh. Um. Man. How strong are you? Strong enough. Bum 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 bum. Do, 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 do. Okay. I'll let this guy get me just so I can get the points. I'm just trying to level up. Wake them up. Then I'm gonna get in here if I can. Bastards. That didn't quite work out. Here's your, here's your fart sound effect. There it is. I know how much you like farts. Know how much you love them farts. Don't want to disappoint you. Alright, we are gonna use this thing. Here's my elixir, we're gonna get to 105, I think? Or is it two or three? It's two, I think, 104. Yeah, 104. Thank you very much, Raymond Doyle, for the sub. He says, I'ma put some hot sauce in ya asshole. Thank you very much for that, appreciate that. Maybe some hot mustard sauce, perhaps. Or some, uh, I could do some A1 sauce. All kinds of things to be done there. So many, so many, so much variety, you know, in life. So many things that can be done. All right, we're at 105. And there's the exit. Oh, you motherfucker. Of course, it's a mimic. What do we got down here? Oh, tell me that's a, that's a confuse. All right, um, all right. That's enough. Well, oh, I can kill this guy too. Bum ba dum bum ba dum. Do you like ketchup on your hot dog? Yes, but only in my ass. You can fire arrows without them being equipped. You don't waste an extra move and in a tight spot. Can you? Let's say. Unequip. Now let's say. You are out of arrows. So now you cannot do that. That's not correct. That might work in the PlayStation version of the game, possibly. Then barbecue sauce. Wait, what? <laughs> what the hell are we talking about now? The fuck are we talking about now? You can stick a hot dog in your ass. <laughs> Ooh, metal babble. Oh. Oh. Invisible enemies. Dude, I want the, that experience. Is there, do I have a torch? I'm gonna use the torch, actually, so I don't wanna hit some shit. And do I have an eavesdrop? Let's say. I don't, but at least I won't hit like a, whatever. There he goes. That hits both of them. 
Pokemon. Hit him. Piece of fucking shit. Invisible crap. That was the metal babble. I'm gonna find him, I'm gonna find him. I wanna get him really bad. Um, another identify. Where did he go? Where did he go? Ooh, a not. No, don't like him. Here. Out of arrows. Fuck you. I am gonna find this. Metal Babel. Shit. Of course I did that. Oh my god, my strength went down. Because I'm moving too fast. Piece of shit. Do I have an antidote on me? I don't? Great. Where is this Metal Babel? I wish I had a clairvoyant or whatever. You gotta be fucking kidding me. I'm moving, see I'm moving around too fast. I need to find a fucking antidote now. Finding, oh fuck that thing. Oh my god. I fucking, I left. I'm still, like, confused. Oh my god. Tell me I have a return. Return to sender! That was the room with the fucking exit, too. Address unknown. Not good. All right, what sucks? This sucks. There. It's another return. Okay. Uh, those aren't doing me much good at the moment. Oh my God. Don't wake him up. choice but to wake him up. Alright. Fucking dead. 600 experience! Holy shit! Fucking cock sucker! I don't know which way I'm facing. That's the whole fucking problem with this guy. <sighs> Great. Thank you, Pooping Pants, for the sub. I don't have a choice. I'm gonna fucking lose all my equipment if I don't fucking do this. If I, if I use the return, it could put me somewhere dangerous. I've been through that. See, returns can be very dangerous. They put you next to an enemy. So I, have tw I have 20 health left. They put me next to a, like a stone enemy. He hits me and then I lose all my fucking items. I'm not doing that. Maybe if I had like half health, I, I would have done it, but not with 20 health or whatever I had. Store that. 
that little penny to store. Um, none of that. Mm, uh, nothing else. That it. That's it. Ba -da 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 -da. It's a metal battle, belly, scale, shield, and then outside. We got all these outsides now. I wanted this so much earlier. So we got all the things I want. All right, I'll be taking a quick break. We'll come back and we'll do another run. <laughs> I'll be back in a minute. My God.
Mystery Dungeon. Let's beat this fucking game already. How's that sound? That's what I'd like to do. <sighs> Alright, hopefully this will be the one. Alright, let's get this shit on. I'm dropping that. Let's get him out of my face. Get the belly ring on, it'll curse me. It always does that in the beginning. Scale shield on. Right, got an outside, we're ready to go. Let's... I hope I finish this now. <laughs> I really hope I finish this now. We'll see. We shall see. You meant you can fire the unequipped arrows from the option menu. Oh. Yeah, I mean, sure. Then you gotta go into the options menu. I don't have the patience for that. I <laughs> use the upper. All right, we got this to level 10. But yeah, like the wands, how you use the the wands from the menu. Sure. Here we got antidote. Next level. Outside, uh, yeah, I didn't lose my stuff. I'm pretty careful at this point. Something really crazy would have to happen for me to not like use the outside. I don't know. I don't even want to think about that. If I lose all my shit again, uh, I don't know. <laughs> at that point, if that happens. We'll see, I don't know. Well, you know what though, I mean, I have I have some stuff in my inventory, so it's like, I would probably just take a break for a little while from the game and then grab shit out of my inventory and work my way back up gradually, but I don't want that to happen at this point. Shit, he will lose his shit. That's accurate. If I lose all my shit, I'll lose my shit. Don't you put me to sleep, magician. She probably shouldn't have been doing that. Do, 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 do. Rattle me bones. Rattle me bones. Do, 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 do. Going back in time with that one. Commercial jingles. Toy jingles, I guess, technically. I liked in the old He-Man cartoons, they, they do. He-Man, He-Man. That was, that was the jingle for the toys. Pretty easy, they're like, kids are stupid, let's give them something like they can't possibly not remember. He-Man, He-Man.
Twisted says, shut the fuck up and clean my ass. You, sh you shut the fuck up and clean my ass. The fuck? I'll clean your ass. Meet me behind the Barnes and Nobles. It'll just be like, it'll, it'll be like this situation right here. See, I turn around like that. Tornico's gonna, gonna get his ass cleaned out by those tongues. Same thing. Mike, would you consider playing Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles Hyperstone Heist on Sega Genesis on Twitch? Again? I did. If you missed it, it's on my YouTube channel. The YouTube stream archive, whatever. Check it out. The garbage dump, as I call it. Check it out at the dump. At the dump. did that though. Upper, nice. Let's use it. All right, there's a bunch of garbage here. This club is garbage. We're dropping that. This bronze is gar garbage. Dropping that. These are both garbage. Dropping that. Clean some inventory out. How far did you get in dead cells? Uh, I don't remember. I kind of, I kind of stopped playing it and moved on. But I like that game. Maybe I'll pick it up again someday. Uh, there was, um, I never got the wall jump thing. So like before that, I don't know. Oh, I like that game, though. Chubby Catfish asks, do you subscribe to Cock, P Cock Penis? Uh, oh, that's a great channel. Um, absolutely. Um, tier 3 sub. You know, this guy in my chat earlier was saying that he loves me. And that, you know, if you love somebody... You give them that tier three sub. So I sub to the cock, to cock, pe cock penis. Who is he? I don't know who that is. I've never heard of him. Is he on Twitch? Good channel. He streams only Shaq Fu on Game Boy. I've streamed Shaq Fu on Game Boy. A little bit too much. Uh oh. Oh my god. Oh my god. Oh my god. Oh my god. Shit's getting serious now. This is where I get all my experience. Ha, ah, fuck you. You fucking turd. Fuck you, fucking turd, motherfucker. Yeah. Do do do. Do do. Do do do. Really? One. World? Alright, confuse. Bang. Elixir. Oh, let's do the elixir. Elixir, I hardly know her. Ba -dum -bum 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 bum 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 High drop. Don't need the eye drop. Three fucking eye drops. Hold up. Hold up a second. This is why it's good to organize your material. 
do 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 do. Cleaning. All this fucking garbage. Stop giving me garbage. Motherfucker. That fucking pisses me off. I think I have any, I don't still though, don't I? I do. I'm gonna hold on to it for now because I'll probably get hit by another fucking thing. This fucking thing and that fucking thing and this fucking thing and that fucking thing, it sucks. I like that Mike came to play this Famicom game first of the series before going to the PlayStation. The mechanics in the sequel are the same as this one, but also built upon and a little, but not overwhelmingly more complicated. Playing through this and learning this game may, makes playing the sequel a lot easier to understand and play. Uh, I also like to do things in order, you know, a lot of times. But I am interested now that I just got that strength. Alright, I used antidote. Now I'm using strength. So what am I 10 now? 9. You got your oven full strength, but you're still freezing your cock and balls off. Yeah, you should turn your heat on. That would be that would be my recommendation. Maybe make yourself some nice tea, or how about some Ovaltine? Yeah, Ovaltine. I just got. A, I just picked up a pearl necklace. Let's see here. Uh, I mean, do I need that or not? I could drop the pearl necklace. Should I? Should I? Do you think I, I should throw down the pearl necklace? It's a ring, actually. Mummy's alive. Not anymore. <laughs> right, going down. Wait, not yet. We're gonna look up here and see what's up here. Licky tongue. Do I have a fireplace? I do. <laughs> I go crazy if I hear this fucking song anymore. I drop. Let's get that out. Uh, I'm gonna drop that. So many clairvoyants. Might as well fucking use one, I guess. Medical, let's do that right now. Uncurse. Oh, the belly ringing again is cursed. So there you go, that uses that. Do, 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 do. Did your fireplace take wood? There you go. See, you're keeping up. You're trying to play Torquina 3 on PlayStation 2. It's quite challenging since you can't read Japanese manually. Yeah, I mean, maybe they'll make a, a translated version of it at some point. I don't know. Tornico, Tornico 3. I would probably wait myself 
until they make some kind of translated version. They do pl uh, PlayStation 2 translations. I guess you play it on an emulator at that point. Which is fine. Chance of getting those is not often. No lux. How often does that come up? Identify. I can identify my pearl necklace. I'm gonna use a clairvoyant. All right, let's check out that pearl necklace, guys. It's actually a starve. Well, that's like the worst item in the game, so we're gonna get rid of that. So fuck that shit. Ending. So is this Taloon from Dragon's Quest? Yes, it is. Yes, it is. Fuck. This is where we get strong. My fucker. Do I have any wands? No, nothing like that. <sighs> one hit? Yeah, nice. They're one hit now. Fuck off. Dead end. Could have guessed that. Mustache and dye it blue like like him. Yeah, like Tornico. I'm, I'll, I'll work on that. Yeah. 
It's gonna be a long blue mustache, and I'm gonna twist the ends with wax, ear wax. Not like that professional hair wax stuff for mustaches. Ear, ear wax, and then I'll dye it blue. It'll be absolutely beautiful. Took a fucking blaze, god damn it. There's no way out of here other than to get hit. Can I like diagonal? Nope. Take the fucking blaze, I swear to god. I hate not having arrows. Whatever. Alright, tell me I have an identify. Gotta have one, right? Or not. Bye, Kel. Thank you. All right, we're 13 now. Yes, I want to be Tornico. No, not for Halloween in real life. Oh, fuck. Well, there you go. This is where it stop, starts dropping me down all the pits. And I get to go nowhere. Da, 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 da. I drop. Let's get rid of that. Finally, some fucking arrows. Game never gives me shit. Oh, I can kill him in one now. Okay. That means I'm relatively strong. Killing him in one hit. I've got a medical art. Right, let's drop a... Mm, blinding, I guess. Oh no, wait, wait. There, that. Let's do the medical thing right now. I'm sorry, I'm gonna have to get me off the 69 and go to 70. See? Called that. Alright, there's the dungeon exit already. I escaped the trap. Return, those are good. Identify, alright, so I have that to identify, so I'm gonna drop the... I'm gonna use a clairvoyant, actually. I'll grab that. We will use the identify to identify the cherry, and I hope that it's a change. The identify identified all items. I have never seen an identify that identifies everything. That's cool. I only had one thing to identify, but shit. That's the only time I've ever seen that. That'd be nice on... <laughs> There's other times where that would have come in much more handy than that. But I'm not gonna complain. Yeah, I'm gonna complain, actually. Totally not a good time for that to happen, compared to usual. All right, we got another outside. Dead. Let's see. I have two outsides now, which is what I want. I got a strength. All right, so we are gonna drop a blinding and grab a strength. And I want um, so I want. Oh wait, double check this. Strength nine and nine. We're gonna go ten of ten. Max strength went up one, 10 to 10, there you go. I should have swung my sword there instead of moving forward, that was a mistake. What are you gonna do, shit happens. There's another clairvoyant. So 
Still taking a lot of hits for them, though. It's another return, so what is not the best? Chain oh, that I want for sure. Clairvoyant, uh... Fuck it, I'd rather have the return. The returns get me out of trouble, big time, so... I don't have any repels yet. Which, I could definitely use one of those. Anybody else coming? No? Alright. Thank you, Sleepy, for the sub, he says. I just got a, I got a tier one sub from Sleepy Nick, and he says, Poo, poo, pee, pee, caca, dicka. Um, you know, a little bit earlier, probably like 30 minutes ago, uh, I was actually thinking that exact same thought. So it seems like you and I are on the same wavelength. So it makes sense that you subbed to the channel because you and I are just like on the same wavelength. Thank you very much for that. It's good to have you here. here and see what's in here. Poo poo pee pee caca dicka. I mean who can really disagree with that and if you think about it. That's a ball on this, huh? Mm. Ah, what do I get? What do I get? What do I get? Medical. Good. Perfect. All right, and we're moving down, descending. We are all enriched a bit more now. Absolutely. What's up, Jose? Uh, Ho uh, one up, Jose is here, everybody. And uh, I just want him to know. Kaka, -ka, poo poo, dicka, pee pee, kaka. -ka. That's how this is going right now. Isn't that right? Twisted. He says, Biggest Dickus. It's like a Roadrunner cartoon now. You're glad this game is getting the commitment? It's addicting. It's uh, dick, dicka, caca, pee pee. Pee pee, dicka. Poo poo. is going on. Well, we're playing a game here called Mystery Dungeon. And that's uh, that's what's going on. Nothing else other than that. This is for Super Famicom. It's a roguelike. 
That's what you were, this is what you were referring to, right? I mean, I don't even want to blind this guy because I want to fight him because I want the fucking experience. Has Mike looked up Tornico porn? Um, you know where you can find it, actually? In my ass. Angel142199 says, Tornico's fat cock. Right. That's true, you know? With the blue, blue pubic hair as well. Natural blue. Beautiful natural blue pubic hair surrounding Tornico's fat cock. Couldn't agree more. Couldn't agree with you more. Man, Mike Gaming just subscribed. Tier one, thank you very much. He's been subscribed for 39 months. Thank you very much. That's a long time. Thank you very much for that. Very nice of you. Also, by the way, uh, I hope that you have made friends here in the chat over the last 39 months. We have a lot of good people here who talk about a lot of good things, such as poo poo pee pee caca dicka. Amongst other things. sub though what is this game for says pizza farts well pizza farts uh, you could read the description but that said twitch doesn't always show the description or the game title if you're looking on your phone which I've noticed before so I will tell you that it is for Super Famicom now you see the box below you see the little logo right there, that right there is a Super Famicom logo, believe it or not. Descending. <laughs> what do I got to deal with this guy? I got a bunch of returns, so that's good. I got a blaze. No, I got a chain. I got a lot of things to deal with this guy. Is, is this equipped? How about we equip that for one thing? I'm going to change him. That worked out well. Good. Good, good, good. Let's get this out of the way. Stop grabbing my fucking balls, motherfucker. See how he does? That's, he's grabbing both balls. He's trying to grab my balls. But I'm not gonna let him. Nope. Thank you, Zontar666 for the sub. Tier one sub, thank you very much, very much appreciated. Can I speak? I don't know. This is the Apple II version of the game. Yeah, I would love to do Apple II one day. Do some Apple II. Top ten Apple II games. There is in here. They're saying, Mike, you play some Amiga. You like that Monty on the Run, Mike? Monty on the Run. Um, I'm gonna... How many identifies? Blaze. 11 steel. Well, steel would be better than these 
fucking wood, so let's drop that. Let's get the steel, I guess. Wow, he didn't get hit by that. You're out of arrows. No, I'm not out of arrows, motherfucker. They're just not equipped. Bunch of bullshit. Bunch of bullshit. Bunch of bullshit. Alright, let's get to the exit. Number munchers. Mike talks about games on his podcast, but on Twitch he talks about cum and shit. Well, the t chat talks about cum and shit, and then I talk to my chat about the cum and shit, because it seems as though that is the subject that they're interested in. If, we, if the chat would talk about other subjects, I would talk about other subjects. On the podcast, Ryan doesn't typically bring up cum or shit. So it's a little bit of a different atmosphere. He typically brings up video games. So then we have a conversation about video games. That's how that goes. Thank you, B. Doan, very much for gifting a sub out to Dot Solo. Silent Wet Fart says, hey, don't blame Mike about our common shit. <laughs> Thank you so much. Silent wet fart. Imagine like in the in the like it's like 1988 and you you fast forward all the way till now. And you know, I could just see like one thing from the future and that's the thing I get. Thank you very much, silent wet fart. I'll be like, what happened in the future? I wonder. I'm thanking a silent wet fart. Why would one thank a silent wet fart? Because you'd have no idea about Twitch or live streaming or any of that stuff. That's the only thing you get from the future. It's like you pull a slot machine and you get to you get to see one thing from the future, but it's random. You know, you don't know what like like. This game. You get to see one thing, but you don't know what it's going to be, and that's the moment I got to say. I, okay, so in the future, I'm going to be thanking a silent wet fart. Huh. What can I do with this information? Nothing. <laughs> I can do fucking nothing with that information. Maybe in the future, everything is about silent wet farts. Maybe that's what it's about in the future. Gee, I thought we'd have flying cars by then, like George Jetson. Hmm. Guess not. Oh well, who cares? And then you go back to playing Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles. Spent 30 years researching farts. You spend 30 years researching farts because you think the future is going to be all about silent wet farts, and then you get to the future and you're like, oh! <laughs> this is what it is. I see. I mean, it basically is a silent wet fart. Like, that's pretty much 20, 2021, 2022. Basically the same fucking thing. So, hey, maybe maybe that would be good information, actually. It's pretty much the fucking equivalent. Alright, I'm gonna move around a little bit here. I'm 
trying to... Oh. So glad I used that torch. I have two outsides, right? Right? I do, so it doesn't matter anyway. All right. But, well, there's the outside. I found it. It's all right. I don't want to... I don't care. I don't want more than two. It's fine. We take up too much inventory space or something I don't need more of. Steve says, what's the difference between jelly and jam? I'll tell you what the difference is. Will you please pass the all fruit? Can you please pass the all fruit? Can you please pass the jelly? Oh. Where are those actors today? I don't want to meet who, who, I don't care about meeting like, who's famous actor, I don't fucking know. I don't care about whether, like Chris Hemsworth or something, who cares? I want to meet the guy from the Planner All Fruit commercial. Would you please pass the jelly? I'd like to interview him. Motherfucker! You get burned. Piece of shit. Piss me off. Motherfucker, would you please pass the jelly, motherfucker? Silent wet fart, motherfucker! Oh look, I got a medical. Now we're at 92! <laughs> Wilford Brimley, there you go. When was the last Chief O'Brien talk here, says Borg's RPG quest? Um, I talked about the Borg earlier. If you missed that, you might want to rewatch the stream later. Chief O'Brien. My favorite thing, Colin Meany, my favorite thing. He did an interview. You can look it up. You can find it online. He did an interview talking about how much he fucking hates social media and how much it pisses him off that it's harder to get acting jobs if you don't have, like, Twitter and shit now. I love Colin Meany. I think he's fantastic, actually. Bang. Descending. <laughs> and any of you guys that have subscribed today, thank you very much for those subs. You are able to use emotes now. We have a Tornico emote that you can use related to what we're doing here. Ho, 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 green giant. Uncurse. No, I don't want uncurse. I want that wand though. Well, I already got some wands actually, don't I? Come on, kill him. I don't have. Identifies is the problem. So I already have that shit. Is there anything crappier? Keeping all that pretty much. Really, not unless I see an identify. Who's this? All right, it's one of those guys. All right. Come on. Do 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 numb. There's an identify. Thank you, God. All right, let's identify the bamboo. Cloning. Doesn't that make more of the enemies? Monsters can divide. As in, like, when the licky tongues divide, basically. That's, I think that's just to get experience. 
Which, like, if it's the right kind of monster, that might be all right. <laughs> Biggest dickus. That's the second time you've said that now, twi Twisted. Are you try trying to tell me something? I I'm aware. <laughs> numb. We got a numb cloning. I don't know about the cloning. In New Star Trek, they're going to have... Oh, fax machines. Cloning is great for the metal baubles. Oh, well, I mean, that'd be the ideal, right? Metal baubles, whatever. If you can get to them and clone one, right? I didn't think about that. That's not a bad idea. Oh, my God. All right, return time. Return to sender. Try to get out of here if I can. Please get me to the exit. This end. <sighs> Hit him. Fuse. stream hype well I'm at four and a half hours now I don't think we're making it to ten hours but <gasps> swear to god I hate these fucking things Room. Am I still like I can't fucking move? Oh my god. That didn't fucking. I should keep one healing thing, shouldn't I? No. Do I have a blaze? I have a blaze. Oh my god, oh my god, oh my god. I mean, a numb will definitely stop him, right? I have to take a chance at some point. I'm gonna try to stop him with a numb. a one-time use, huh? I guess. Alright. Swear to fucking god. Elixir. You know what? I'm gonna keep that on me at this point and not just use it. Okay. He is 
drop. You think it, oh my god. Do I have a, I don't have, oh god damn it. Oh my god! I'm gonna change them. Warp me. Wouldn't that be nice? Good. And another change. Good. Wands without numbers need identifying. They have more uses. Identify just unveils how many. Oh, I see. So I can do more, basically. using the speed up thing because when that happens a lot of times there'll be like a puppet or something and it'll hit me and lower my level because I'm moving too fast. torch or anything. I've got to change staffs. A bunch of them. So I won't know when those change staffs are empty, basically, huh? Sir. No puppets. change him? Can you change a dragon? Oh my god, my hands are like sweating now. You dropped the elixir, did I? Wait, fuck, hang on. I have a change staff. I guess I'm trying it. Okay. 
die. Okay. Getting my health back. Okay, what do I got? All this shit. There's another like staff over here. Motherfucker! Or not. Mimic. Alright, floor 25. on this guy, that's what I'm gonna do. I'm gonna use it again. Fine. Identify. Do I have any... at this point. Oh, wait, I know what I'm gonna do. Uh, should I save that for the next floor? No, I need shit now. I need help. All right, the enemies are up there. There's a dragon up my ass. I mean, having that is definitely helpful. The exit. All right, we're on the last floor. <sighs> Fuck. I'm gonna change him. Good. Do I have a torch? No torches. <sighs> Let's take a look at what I have. But having the change staffs is gonna help me. <sighs> Can you use that outside once you have happiness? No. You gotta get it and get out. I wish I had a fucking torch. <gasps> These guys are dangerous, too. There you go. That's it! I dropped the identify. I had it, I had the happiness, I had the happiness. I have attained the box of happiness. I'm getting out. Ascending. I don't know where the exit is here. I have, I wish if I had a torch, man. Oh God.
Oh, that fucking made him into a mimic. All right. This one is either great. At least they killed him. the floors I know where the exit is god damn it I guess not what did I fall down these ones I got to throw this one Like, is it different? Like, is it, am I ascending like in a different way? Cause no, nothing is like shown. They're different, okay. I thought I was going to be going back up. That's something I didn't know. I thought I was going to be going back up the same shit I came from, and then I would know all the exits. Well, this makes this fucking harder. I didn't know that. You think I can kill these in one hit now? I'm not taking the chance of level one down. Get me out of here. 
You think I'm nervous? You're right. Alright, those guys I can handle now. The green guys don't... I'm not too worried. These guys I'm alright too. It's like these... Those bomb guys I'm worried about. These guys I'm worried about too. Fuck. Fuck. This guy is so dangerous. I hate to use that, but... I gotta get away from these motherfuckers. No! but it didn't work. Oh, I wish it would have fucking worked. <sighs> Why every time is it like that now? Remember when it used to be like I'd hit them? Maybe because my sword is so, so strong, I guess. I hope I can kill these in like one swoop now. Like, because I'm too strong. Because my sword's very powerful. Yeah, that's pretty much it. Hork. 
Ren Hoek. Steepy! You idiot! Duh. Look at his happy little face. Now that's an emo. Hello! <laughs> See him behind you, motherfucker. Don't even try it. Don't even try. Oh, oh he was gone. 19. 18. Come on, come on, come on, come on. Come on, come on, come on. Da, Ren. on fire if you refuse me honey you lose me then you'll be left alone oh, baby telephone where the fuck is the exit Something unexpected could happen. Something unexpected could happen, so I want to not be cocky about this. Let's expect the worst. Still have the chest, they're asking. Happiness right there. Like, 
you know, some shit like that. I step on a bomb and I just fucking, it just, it's a death bomb or something. Fuck. Ascending. Yeah, a room full of those blue bomb guys. That's exactly what I don't fucking want. Exactly what I'm worried about. I don't even know if they show up at this point. I don't want to say that. I don't want to say anything. Ascending. And shit. Dude, if something happens at this point. <laughs> Swear to fucking God. Well, you're vibrating, Mike. You're vibrating. Fuck you, no exit. Two. Come on. Come on. Come on. Where is it? God, all right. I'm gonna turn the Super Nintendo off right now. You ready? Are you guys be angry at me if I just turn it? Go. See this finger? See this fucking finger right here? And I'm turning off the Super Nintendo. <laughs> um, there's the box of happiness. of happiness was here all along. So which of the weapons and armor you brought back shall we place in the vault? Huh? What is this beautiful box? Oh, not that gold thing you have. Could it be? Open it up, darling. Open it, open it, darling. Open it. Oh, man, I thought it was going to be a sword. I thought it was gonna be like a, a poop knife. I thought it was gonna be like a fucking 
thing I could slice somebody's fucking head off with. It's music. It's happiness. Wow, darling. You finally did it. You brought back the box of happiness. Double wow. Wowzers! We must prepare for our grand opening right away. Tell everyone what you found. Boom. That is Mystery Dungeon. Tornico's Great Adventure. It's really the box of happiness. Congratulations, Taloon, Taloon in America. So it was a music box. Wow, one more mystery solved. Great grandfather. Ah! It has a nice, mellow sound. Just like me, right? Right? It seems to saturate my entire asshole body from my ears to my, huh? From, to, from my ears to my asshole. Wait a minute. I, I can hear? I can hear! Oh, Taloon. Oh, Taloon, I feel sort of strange. Move out of my way. I have to get to the bathroom. My body is lighter because I took a shit and feel so cheerful, like jumping up and down. Everything's so wonderful now. Isn't it great? Isn't everything wonderful now that the world has music? Ah, uh, master. What have you got there? Is that the box of happiness? So splendid. Mm, oh God, yes. Wow, yes. The king will be satisfied. Woohoo! Well done. Good job. So happy. expected from you, my honorable rival. I'll never forget what you've accomplished here. I will remember it as a fond memory my entire life. You are so incredible. You know what? I give you my wife as well, Taloon. You're so wonderful. Gozer! Gozer the Traveler! He will come in one of the pre-chosen forms! During the last rectification of the Voldrani... He came as a large and moving torque, or slur, or whatever. Taloon. We're all very happy, Taloon. He's really been thinking about me, and he's really the prince. Not that it matters. Yeah, I don't know who you people are. You people standing in the middle of the field. I don't know. I, I've been in I've been in caves and dungeons, fighting monsters. I have no fucking idea who you fucking assholes even are, and I don't care. You mean nothing to me. I thought I was gonna get a sword. Oh, let's talk to the guy standing by the steps that one time that I went down into the bar to check out the bar. Let's talk to him and see what he has to say. Actually, this room right here pretty much sums up what I think uh, most of the people that watch my streams, their, their, their room is just like this. Just empty like that, just like concrete. And then they just have the picture of their mother on the wall. And they're, like, laying in a fetal position, watching my streams. Ah, ah. Wo 
woman in the bar. Ooh, ooh, ooh! You really did it. Congratulations. Hey, boss. Thanks. The barkeep means to say good. Instead, he sounds like a newborn baby slurping on a bottle. More like sucking my dick. <laughs> Tee Love you, Tornico. Love you. Know what I mean? Here's my number. <laughs> wink, wink. You're amazing, Taloon. Smart and brave. Yeah. <laughs> what the? <laughs> <laughs> the fuck is going on? For some odd reason, it just makes me feel so lighthearted. Better than experimenting with medicines, if you know what I mean. <laughs> Woman in the bar, once again, Taloon, congratulations. Thanks. Thanks, everybody. Thanks, you guys are great. Have another drink. Sounds like you need another one. The load was huge. <laughs> Papa! A little while ago, I suddenly heard freaky music, and then, hee hee ya, up came warm water a gushing right out of the ground. That's right, as I said. Aha, yeah, uncle. Hee hee, started laughing because it messed up. Dumb treasure hunt. Isn't that hilarious? Ha 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 ha. I don't know who you are. I have no idea who you people are. You weren't in the dungeon. Where were all you motherfuckers? You know how much easier this quest would have been? How about. There's this whole fucking building. And there's a thousand swords in this building. And there's a hundred people here. And you're all my fr fucking friends, right? How about you all grab a fucking sword and come down in the fucking dungeon? There's a fucking dragon breathing fire in my fucking face. Crazy one-eyed monsters making me not know where I'm going. And all you motherfuckers are standing in a field looking at the sky. Fuck you people. You fucking suck. You don't deserve music. You deserve fucking nothing. You deserve shit. I'm the only one that deserves fucking music. You did shit. You're fucking worthless. All of you. I fucking hate you. Should have never given you a fucking box of anything. Give you a box of shit. Piece of fucking shit. I fucking hate these fucking people. Hey, yeah, I think so happy. I'm so happy. Thanks for bringing back the box of happiness. Mm -hmm. My heart is so full. What shall I do? Get a sword and go into the dungeon and bring back another box of happiness. Why don't you fucking do something? Like I fucking did. Fucking worthless. Worthless fucking town and nobody's. The game itself is great, though. Peace! Peace out. And then apparently you can do 99 levels after this? The end. Let's see. Is this one of the, is this like they want me to hit reset on the Super Nintendo? Because how do you get to the 99 levels? Uh, so final verdict, is Tornico better than Zelda? Th why does everything have to be one thing better than the other? Is Super Nintendo better than Genesis? Is this better than that? It's all... So we live in a world where you can play both. Just play both games. You can play, you can play both games. And you can also play bad games. I'm not... I'm, we're not doing the... Is this better than that? I'm not doing it. Play both. It saved, so hot reset, but not power button. Oh, so I can reset it. But if I did the power button, then it would fuck it up. Basically. Is Superman 64 better than this game? <laughs> my god, Superman 64. You just wanted to know my personal opinion. My personal opinion? Um, I gave you my personal opinion. That is my personal opinion. 
that we li you can play both. You can p play through both games. If like someday if you have the time, that's my opinion. Both are good, exactly. What would you want in the box of happiness? <laughs> and with that, I better end the stream. <laughs> Thanks a lot for watching, guys. <laughs> I'll leave that up to your imagination. Thanks for watching the stream. That is it for Mystery Dungeon, the Super Famicom game. A lot of fun. I believe it's the first roguelike game. There are more to come because there's also Sheer and the Wanderer and different sequels and stuff. I can do more of that later, but next time I'll probably be moving on to something entirely different. Thank you so much for watching, guys. Hope you enjoyed the stream. Uh, is there anything else to say? You guys got anything else to say in the chat? What else? What else do you have to say to me? Come. Oh, that's right. Mega D7 said come. Um... <laughs> Is the game better than a poop knife? Depends what the situation is. There there be times when you might need one of those. All right, guys. See you next time with something else. Thanks for watching. Bye.